Na, 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 na. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Testing one, two. I had my audio shut off on the uh, on the OBS software. Sorry about that. I am still a rookie at this. How you doing, Common Man? Fly fishing. Thanks for uh, joining the stream. I've seen you around a little bit on some of the other uh, live streams and chats and things of that sort. All right. Thanks, Northern Bass. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, we got uh, got a few exciting things here, as you can tell by the uh, the title of my uh, title of my live stream today. Got uh, a little bit of viewer mail, which is uh, really cool. Always uh, always cool to get that. So we're gonna do a, an unpackaging, and the thing that's really really exciting me, uh, I believe. Uh, where am I at right now? I'm sitting at 494 subscribers. Uh, more than I thought I would ever get, because uh, I'm not I'm not a professional at this, uh, like I say. But uh, you know what? The, the fact that I've already got 494 is cool. Just tipping the scales, almost at that 500 mark. But I thought I'd do something a little unique tonight and launch my uh, 500 or my drive for 555 subscriber giveaway. And I've got a few neat things that I'll be handing out to everybody, or well, not to everybody, but to a lucky winner. So that'll be uh, that'll be pretty cool in itself. And, uh, yeah, Andrew Fishman, how you doing, buddy? McCartney Survival, thanks for coming out, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, guess I got a little task ahead of me, eh, there, uh, Mason? I got to uh, do that uh, one, one stick fire challenge that you've uh, challenged me to. And I will, uh, I will certainly get to that. Um, and actually, I watched your video today and seen that uh, you did the Basically the one stick challenge kind of thing with your hand tied behind your back. So it was a one-handed fire fire challenge. So if you don't mind, I might even try something like that where I'm going to try and uh, uh, get it done with the one hand too. What the heck? I could kill two challenges with one uh, with one fire, I guess. Yeah. So funny. I'm trying to get my live stream on my tablet here, and it tells me video requires payment to watch. Hmm. I wish. But I guess I won't worry about that. Wolfie, how you doing? How you doing? Thanks for popping out. A lot of familiar faces tonight, and that's uh, that's a good thing for sure. Hope uh, hope everybody's having an interesting day today. Anybody uh, anybody have anything interesting happen today? Yeah, you're all for that, eh? That's good stuff. Yeah, you know what? That's uh, I was wondering in your video, for those of you don't, that don't know what I'm talking about, if you go over to uh, McCartney Survival and uh, <laughs> chasing guns, that's funny. Yeah, I uh, McCartney was doing uh, uh, the one-handed challenge, trying to start a fire with one hand, uh, and the other hand basically tied behind his back, and. Uh, I was wondering how the heck he was going to get that fire going and, you know, sort of striking at the ferro rod and stuff like that. And I'm like, God, I, I didn't expect or didn't didn't think that you were going to use your knee. Oh, I guess I shouldn't give that away because everybody's got to go watch. But uh, no, very impressive, man. You got that fire going. That's good stuff. So handy to know that if we're in the forest and you break an arm and both my arms are gone and we're out there together, you can build us a fire. That's cool. Good stuff. This is really weird here. Yeah. YouTube's funny on tablets, eh? I'm, like I say, I'm trying to get get my live stream on the tablet so I could see the chat. And it's got a black bar that goes across that says, I have to pay for this. This video requires payment to watch. Who Who's being paid? Who's being paid? Oh, look, now I can watch a couple tortoises humping. Only on YouTube. So I'm going to kill the tablet so it's not a distraction. So Chasing Guns, how you doing? Jessica Smith, how you doing tonight? Thanks for popping in. I was just mentioning there a few minutes ago uh, some pretty exciting news for me. Uh, I'm just tipping the scales now. I think I'm at 494 subscribers. Who knows, maybe by the end of tonight I'll hit that 500 mark. And... Uh, once we uh, we hit that 500 mark, we're going to uh, launch another video, hopefully within the next few days, which will be the uh, 
the official five drive for 555. I'm gonna go for a real cool number 555. That's cool. Where's Mr. Einstein tonight? Jason Gunn is just a butter knife and no bot items. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good to hear you're doing well, Jessica. Uh, maybe not. Our credit cards are all getting charged right now. Well, if, if your credit cards are getting charged, Northern Bass, uh, let me know because I'll be contacting YouTube and tell them I want a portion of that. So, you know, all this fine, fine entertainment I'm dolling out tonight. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's Jefferson. How you doing, man? Hello, Jefferson and everyone. How's it going, you guys? Doing good here, man. Doing good on this end. Just, uh, you know, I was going to do another, uh, I was going to do a live stream the other night. But there's so many live streams going on anymore that, uh, and most of them are people I follow anyways. A lot like, you know, Jefferson and Jessica and, uh, well, all you guys that are in here right now. I see you guys in all the other chats. So it's pretty cool to uh, not have to do my own because, you know what, it's a lot of work, man. It take, took me like 45 minutes to get all set up down here in my nice little, my nice little corner. My, my little uh, Canoe Hound Studios, uh, as I would call it. So, uh, yeah, just, uh, but I got, like I say, I got a couple uh, cool things to talk about tonight there. I got, uh, I got some viewer mail. Yeah, last last live stream I did the, uh, the unpackaging of the, uh, the prize I won from Tyler Wood. Hopefully you guys have all checked his, uh, his channel out. I know he's got a couple new videos out this week. Um, and this one here is actually from another person that I, uh, I follow. We actually became uh, Instagram buddies and sort of started our channels. But he's, he took a little hiatus there. A couple things going on in life that, uh, that kept him from behind the camera. But uh, in our correspondence back and forth, he, uh, he actually sent me a package. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. And... I'll let you guys build with anticipation to uh, to see what's in that. We'll unveil that in about a half an hour. I'm thinking, let's see, what time is it? 8.08. I'm thinking hopefully we can get about, uh, when we get about 20 people in here, and or we'll say 8.45, I'll talk about the uh, drive for 5.55. And no, I'm not pointing at my logo. It's just the way my finger's going. And then... Uh, and yeah, and then we'll get into opening up the package. I'm hoping that uh, James from uh, JPO Doors will actually be on. I should actually send him an Instagram message there because I don't want him to uh, to miss the unveiling because it is from him. Tyler Wood and Andrew on the go. How you doing, guys? Thanks for popping in. Appreciate it. And what we got there? Loma Acres Homestead. Hey, there's a new face in the house. Thanks for uh, taking the time out of your evening. Hopefully... Uh, Stick around for a bit. We got a few exciting things going on tonight. Chasing guns outdoor. You know what? I see the word howdy there from uh, chasing guns to Tyler. That's uh, I don't know how the hell I started, but every time I pop into a chat now, that's sort of my greeting. I always pop in and say howdy, howdy. So I don't know. Maybe I watched too much Toy Story or something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Jess. You know what? I, I forgot about that. Uh, Tyler was talking in one of his other, uh, in one of his live streams the other night there, um, that uh, there may be a chance he might be able to get on one of those reality TV shows. Am I allowed to say something about it, Tyler? I don't want to make an announcement because I know sometimes the uh, networks could get a little, uh, a little touchy on whether they reveal information or you reveal information on it, stuff like that. And I can tell you how I know that. I have two buddies uh, that are uh, part of my networking group through my business. And they were just, uh, they were in the final cut for The Amazing Race. I don't know if you've, uh, I'm sure everybody's heard of the, the show. There's a Canadian version and a U.S. version. They were trying out for the Canadian version. And they made it to the final cut. Uh, they made it in like three, four interviews deep. Um they had all their ducks in a row and everything, and they're both contractors by by trade, so they were all putting all their getting all their ducks in a row for uh, their their businesses, and lo and behold, they were uh, they were cut, but they were told that they are on the backup list, so that's pretty cool. It'd be really cool to see uh, a few buddies and 
they everything with them was totally hush hush. They couldn't uh, they couldn't reveal any information. They couldn't tell anybody until finally they just they revealed it to uh, our networking group because uh, they had they they didn't make the show, so they they had that opportunity. But yeah. Uh, Tyler says he has very huge news. I assume news from two major networks. And, uh, oh my God, I wish I could personal message you after the stream. This is huge hint would be Joe did it all I can say. Oh, okay. I know. I know exactly what you're talking about because yeah, that, uh, I thought that was only open to Canadians, but I won't say anything. I'll, if you want to say it, Type it on the screen and then I'll, I'll talk about it there because I kind of know what you're talking about there, Tyler. Yeah, I was on too, Jessica, when, uh, when his phone poo-pooed out. He kept saying he was running out of batteries. Well, I guess maybe he doesn't have a car charger. That would have helped. <laughs> uh, thinking bow drill made with a butter knife and fire just thought... Yeah, chasing guns. You're putting the challenges out there, right? Eh? I, you know what? I wouldn't put too many challenges out to him because he'd probably, uh, he'd probably be able to do it. McCartney's pretty good at making these fires. I, I, I always thought one, a one-stick fire challenge or a one-handed fire challenge. Pick lighter. Done. <laughs> but who? That's no fun, right? There's another new face in the uh, in the chat. There, it's uh, in the woods with Bigfoot. How you doing, buddy? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you coming out. There's a big kapow for you. That's cool stuff. And there's JP. Hey, thanks for coming out. We were just uh, talking a few minutes ago about uh, this thing that came in the mail the other day. And I'll tell you, man, I've been tempted to crack this thing open. But man, I, I restrained, and I'm going to do it tonight, and I'm going to reveal to everybody in about half an hour uh, what you were kind enough to send over my way. So thanks, man. I appreciate it very, very much. I uh, just wanted to check in. I can't hear, but it isn't likely. Oh, I'll make, oh man, you got to take off. You're working. Let me know when you got a when you got your lunch break or something. Maybe I'll still be on. That'd be cool. Just living. How you doing? Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. There's another new face. Oh no, you're not a new face. I recognize the uh, your uh, your emoji thing there. The the eggs. What's the, what's the meaning of the eggs? Can you share that with us? Yeah, Northern Bass Fishing just uh, clued into what Tyler was talking about too. Yeah, that's cool. I'm under two contracts and two big networks and in so, that are similar. So you'll see me just not on TV. Oh, you're, you're going to be the towel boy. Is that what it is? <laughs> Holy kidding, Tyler. Holy kidding. He's going to be the guy behind the scenes with the uh, the camera interviewing the people being on. Okay. Uh, a little bit. And maybe in a butter knife guy. Right there. Yeah, the other way, you two, I mean, you will see me on a digital device. That's cool, man. You know what, man? You're, you know what? I think if you fall in water, you'd fall, you'd come out dry. You're, uh, you're just that lucky, eh, Tyler? That's good stuff. So I, uh, I hope everybody's got themselves a, uh, a nice cool beverage. I know I do. I got myself my IPA for the, uh, for the evening to try and keep my throat dry while I'm chatting with you people. Hi, uh, Hike with Mike. Thanks for coming in. I or, no, I already got you, but that's okay. Cheers to you again, man. But, uh, yeah, so tonight's brew brought to you by Great Lakes Brewery. And it's a beer. It's actually This is actually one of my most favorite IPA ales. And thank goodness it's local. It's brewed in Toronto. And it's called Pompous Ass. Whoop. Let's get this here. Pompous Ass. And it's a English ale, an English IPA, and you know what? It's very good. It's uh, light and hoppy, um, not a lot of aftertaste. It's good beer. So here's to y'all. Hope you're cracking a beer with me. And there we go. I just shot my computer again, like I did last week, but I got I got backup. <laughs> Clean things up here. So I, uh, I almost didn't think I was going to be able to make the live tonight. My, uh, my oldest daughter, who's uh, living back at home with us now, uh, wasn't feeling very well for the last couple of days. And uh, when I got home from work today, she was like basically 
all bundled up on the living room floor, just like sort of crashed out. And I, I guess she's got a, a kidney infection. Kidney? No. Liver. Kidney or liver, one of the two. But I took her to the hospital. Uh, my wife's down there with her now, and uh, they're, they're treating her. And she's going to be all right. She's going to be all right. But, uh, yeah, a little concerning. I didn't know if, uh, if I was going to be able to make this tonight. But uh, my wife stepped up, and she said, all you're going to do is sit here in the waiting room anyway, so you might as well just go home. <laughs> woman I guess but no it's, in all seriousness uh yeah you know what when any, any of your kids and she's uh my oldest daughter's like uh 27 years old and you know you don't want to see any of them being sick right so uh even ourselves so yeah uh, hello Paula just living awesome to see you okay so now I know Paula's name or just living's name is Paula thanks for that tidbit of information there Jessica that's awesome I just have to remember that because this old mind sometimes doesn't remember shit. Uh, Jefferson says that's a perfect name for a British beer. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, pompous ass. This uh, Great Lakes Brewing Company, they got some of my favorite beers. Though. They got another one called uh, Canuck Pale Ale. Uh, it's got the old lumberjack on it. Uh, it's a really good beer. Uh, another one called uh, Octopus Wants to Fight. It's got the octopus with eight boxing gloves on. And they're all they're all really good beers too. So that Moiser boy, hey, how you doing? Thanks for popping in tonight. Much appreciated. I, I'd encourage everybody uh, in the stream tonight to uh, get around. Most of you know each other because we uh, we do frequent each other's uh, live streams and see each other around on other streams. But uh, for some of the new names popping in the house tonight, uh, please do check out each other. Um, not a sub for sub channel, blah, blah, blah. You've all heard that on other channels like R5 and Pusa Studios and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, get to know each other. Uh, watch a video, leave a comment, uh, like, share, all that uh, all that fun, neat stuff. And you know what? Hey, if you haven't done so already, guys and gals, crush that uh, thumbs up button. Let's, uh, let's see if I can beat my record of, I think, last week I had, or two weeks ago, I had 24 thumbs up. That's ooh, huge, right? What am I missing here? Uh, that Moiser boy, oh no, I hope she feels better soon. Kidneys are not anything to take lightly. No, you know what? I, 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 she, she's been suffering for three days with this, and I told her, I said, you know what? And I come home, and I said, no, you know what? Go upstairs, get some clothes on, and let's go. I took her to the hospital right away. Uh, and you know what? I was <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised. We got to the hospital, and usually here in Ontario, man, you could have three, four, five, six hour wait times. We got in there, and there wasn't. Uh, there was one other uh, person waiting in the emergency room, and they took her into triage right away. Got all her paperwork done. We sat there for maybe fifteen minutes, if that, and uh, and then they brought her in. So, and when I talked to my wife just before. I come on live here. She said that uh, I guess they're pumping her full of antibiotics uh, through intravenous. So that's all good. So, anyways, let's not let's not dwell on that. Let's get on to f uh, <laughs> some fun stuff for sure. But uh, so, who's got something interesting going on? Anybody out there got anything interesting happening in their lives today? Wow, look at that! I'm up to a whopping ten. Ten thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Much appreciated. Fourteen people in the house. If you guys don't mind, if you have any uh, social media or any way of sharing this uh, this live stream, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, the more the merrier, of course, right? Let's all take that uh, opportunity to network with each other. So, eh, what do we got here? Another 10 minutes and we'll get into talking about the, uh, the giveaway, the drive for 555. Who in here has got, uh, is over 500 right now? Anybody? Anybody? Uh, in the woods with Bigfoot. You know what? No, I don't have a, 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 a merch channel. Uh, my business uh, that I own is a, uh, we own a, a sign shop and we sell promotional products and graphics and things of that sort. So uh, being a graphic designer and working with embroiderers and silk trainers and stuff like that, I, I managed to get myself uh, some hats done up uh, got some really cool water bottle decals that we made up 
dishwasher safe. Well, if anybody ever needs these here, contact me uh, through my uh, my business at Great Signs and Graphics. Great deal on them. We could do 85 of these bad boys for about, or sorry, 100 of these for around 95 bucks, uh, plus shipping, of course. Uh, this here is a new batch that we just did for another YouTube friend of mine. You can check out their site. They're, they're just kicking off. They're called Paddling Pirates on YouTube. And it's a uh, good bunch of guys. Actually, uh, the one guy, his name is Ingo, and he is actually the owner of Kid Stoves. They make uh, twig stoves or like wood-fired wood, wood -fired stoves, the little twig ones that you would take on a canoe trip or camping or backpacking or bushcrafting or whatever. And uh, I've been using their stove now for a couple of years as my twig stove. And you know what? It's a great little stove. It's not heavyweight. They make it in uh, three or four different metal finishes, including titanium, if you're uh, really weight conscious. And uh, But yeah, they're, they, they got a crew, a crew of guys that always go canoeing. And if Ingo happens to come on, maybe he will. But you can see, whoop, always get this screen. I'm going to get rid of that uh, logo. Let's get rid of the logo. Canoe Hound, Transition. Let's get rid of that logo. There we go. Logo's gone. So now I can put it anywhere I want. So yeah, that, that's uh, the most recent decal we've done. It's uh, three inches by three inches. And uh, dishwasher safe. Mine's been through the dishwasher a number of times. So this is a paid promotion by Great Signs and Graphics Incorporated, Welland, Ontario. Yes, thank you. <laughs> So that was long and winded, but uh, in the woods with uh, Bigfoot, I do have the opportunity for people to possibly win one with our drive for 555. Got a bunch of other things going too. Some decals, but no, I'm not going to give away too many secrets. Yeah, what do we got here? Uh, 987 to be more precise. So Andrew Fishman, yeah, you're flying. You're getting close to that, uh, that thousand mark. Hey, eh? that's cool. Hidden Valley Homestead, how you doing? How you doing? At 4:33. Uh, who else? Who else we got here? Andrew Fish and 900 and some. Okay, but you're at 987 to be precise. That's cool. Chasing guns, you're almost at a thousand. Awesome, awesome. Hopefully you get there, and hopefully you got your watch time hours so that uh, you can get yourself monetized, make a few bucks for all your hard work doing this stuff. I uh, spoke about it quite a bit last week. One guy that I can't believe how fast he got hit the thousand mark and his four thousand hours. Tyler Wood, and he's monetized now, so that's all cool. Happy for you, proud of you. Now you just got to help the little guys like me get up there, right? Uh, -ba -ba -ba. Hidden Valley Homestead saying what's up to Jefferson. Jason Guns, yeah, that's the boys' boy. So has everybody on here got everybody already? Showing each other some love? Congrats on Alone, and I tried this season, and they worked uh, currently after the highlight. Haha, -ha. and congrats, man, not doing Naked and Afraid, but huh? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, I, I could do Naked and Afraid. Uh, I don't know if my wife would appreciate that too much. Mind you, they, they hide everything out, but uh, yeah. It's a pretty cool show. Actually, on Instagram, I follow a couple of uh, girls that uh, that run that show. And not because they're girls that I follow them. It's just because uh, I follow a lot of knife makers on Instagram. And one is Kayla Cummings. She uh, she was on Naked and Afraid, and she's a knife maker. And uh, she makes some really cool blades and stuff like that. So that's why I follow her. The fact that she was on a lo or, uh, Naked and Afraid is just uh, incidental. And the other one is uh, was Melissa Melissa Backwoods is the name of her Instagram channel and her YouTube channel. I think Melissa Backwoods. She too was on Naked and Afraid, and uh, she too is uh, she makes knives and she she endorses like uh, uh, name brand knives and stuff like that. So yeah, that's all pretty cool stuff. Uh, McCartney Survival sitting at 845 and Chasing Guns Outdoors is at 859. So look at that. A lot of us are like right in that same area. Eh? We're not uh, we're not the big YouTubers. Uh, we're the small people that like to support each other. And here's to all of you because you're all supporting me and I support all of you too. So there's a couple here I got to pick, pick up though. Uh, that Moser Boy. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Moser Boy. I haven't got my glasses on. I keep popping them on my face so I have a hard time reading. 
and uh, there was somebody else in here. Oh, in, in the woods with Bigfoot. You know what? I'm going to have to make sure I pick you up too. I will do so at the uh, the end of the video and, or at the end of the chat tonight. And uh, you'll see me uh, coming across because I believe my subscriptions are made visible. And that's something that's going to help. I don't know how many of you have actually your, your subscriptions being visible. But that really helps when it comes time for uh, for giveaways. So just uh, just throwing that out there. Do, do, do. All right. I am correct. Moiser boy. What kind of channel? What, what's your content there, uh, Moiser boy? Or do you have a name? My name's Dennis, by the way. Dennis from Canoe Hound Adventures. Doing awesome. Okay, cool stuff. That's it, guys. Yeah, I watched a couple of your videos this week, too, Andrew. I see you had a, a new video po posted not too uh, too long ago. Yeah, Moiser Boy, when uh, when th this is done here, you'll be 8 away from 600 because I'll be uh, certain to pop in and uh, share a bit of the love with you for sure. David, David, nice to, nice to meet you. Good stuff. And your interests are outdoor stuff, eh? Like uh, hiking, uh, camping, canoeing, bushcrafting, all that kind of thing. But Tyler Wood, so what, you challenged me to get naked and afraid? Oh, well, I'll try. Yeah, keep keep it the prime time there, uh, McCartney. <laughs> yeah. You'll never get the mon or you'll never get monetized if you uh you know go naked on uh, on YouTube. Not a good place, right? Mind you, you know what? It's funny. I was uh, I was cruising around, and you know how they always get your suggested videos and stuff like that. I guess I didn't know this. There's actually channels out there where for people that are nudists or nu nudism or there's there's a nat naturalist I think is, and I don't know if they they can get uh, if they can actually get monetized or not but who knows right we got np hill or np in the house how you doing mp thanks for popping in tonight hi i thought uh, the word hi was actually np hi was your name but i guess it's not right so thanks for popping in man uh or girl or gal not sure but uh thanks for popping in we're all just enjoying a brew and in about two minutes i'm going to i'm going to talk to you about my drive for 555 subscriber giveaway and this isn't the official video, or, yeah, it's not the official video where um, you have to get in for your chance to win. But this live stream is going to be the, an opportunity for you to have an extra entry in for the Drive for 555. And like, like I say, I've got a couple of good items here that, uh, well, more than a couple, I've got a few items here that I will be... Uh, uh, given to a lucky winner. Unfortunately, we have to limit it to uh, Canada or the United States because I don't want to spend a fortune on this. And as it is, if I have to send it to the far reaches of the U.S., it would probably cost me 50 or 60 bucks just to ship it out. So we're going to keep it to uh, North America, if possible. And we're going to go with that. So anybody want to know what we got? Let's get some thumbs up here. Woohoo! And I mean, just in chat, you don't have to crush a thumbs up, but if you want to crush a thumbs up, you can do that too. Okay, so let's see. We're at 829, and I'm, I'm anxious. I want to I wanna get the ball rolling on this. I want you people to know what we have a chance to win. Let's start with, start with the small stuff. Uh, all this is going to go to one lucky winner. As I mentioned, I do own a print shop. So I have, uh, in the package will be, a mini bottle uh, decal, Canoe Hound Adventures with the YouTube logo on the bottom. The next one will be our first generation water bottle decal. It's a little bigger. It's, this one's about three and a half inches inside. This one's about uh, inch and three quarters or two inches. And then the third one, I might even drop a couple extras in there too so you can share them uh, with all your friends or stick them on the drive through window when you're going through for your coffee. But this is our current generation of, uh, of decal. Can anybody tell me what the difference is between these two besides the circle on the outside? Let's get it there. Let's see, who's the first one that's gonna pick it out here? 
did it. Da, 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 this one did the first shot. Maybe today we'll see in the video it gets aired. His ass. Oh, thanks, man. Tyler, are you uh, going away or are you getting this done? Jefferson nailed it, man. First stream had no dog. You know what? Canoe Hound Adventures. The dog. That's my dog, Molly. If you've watched my videos, you've seen Molly in all my videos. Uh, she's my little uh, Springer Spaniel. She's an awesome dog. Love my puppy. And uh, I said, what's my logo? It's uh, like the channel is as much her as it is me when you see the videos. So the new generation. So this is like a collectible. This is a collector's item. You might want to save this. Might be worth a fortune one day. They'll be looking for, for these uh, stickers on that show, uh, American Pickers, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot of you got it. Good stuff. Uh, I like the border on the smaller one. Don't forget, you got yours coming too, Tyler. You didn't tell me, Tyler. Do you want uh, your hat that I told you I was going to send it? Did you want the black hat or the tan hat or did you want the black one? That's why I haven't sent it out yet. Let me know. Going away, no more YouTube videos for a while unless my wife takes over for my absence. Ah, so you know what, man? We're gonna have to we're gonna have to chat later, Tyler. I want I want to find out what's going on secretively, of course. But uh, if that's the case, sounds like uh, you got hooked up with something good there. So hopefully you're you're off to get naked or something. That's cool stuff. Uh, I cannot be canoe hound without the hound for sure. You know that. That's right. Okay, so yeah, I'm 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 dragging along here. Okay, so first in the giveaway. Gonna get a few few canoe hound adventure decals. That's all cool stuff. Next one is a, uh, a canoe hound adventures morale patch. You can sew that on a jacket, on a hat, on your underwear, your granny's underwear, whatever you want to do. But you're gonna get a canoe hound adventures morale patch. That's cool stuff for sure. Uh, staying on the canoe hound topic, a canoe hound adventures baseball cap. It's a nice one there. It's got the Velcro closure at the back. And whoever wins, I will actually give them the choice as well of a tan one or a black one. I should have brought a black one up. The black one looks like this, but it's got a tan logo uh, stitching on it. So that's uh, that's some cool stuff too. Uh, what do we got here? Do -do -do -do. Tyler, good luck. Good point, Andrew. Absolutely, man. Thanks, McCartney. Uh, those will look nice on a canoe and Nalgene. Yes, you know what? Like I say, my stickers on my Nalgene bottle and other ones that I've done for other people. This is a batch I just done for another customer. They're all ready to go tomorrow, ready to be shipped out. Next on the list, a survival bracelet. Uh, this here was handmade by myself. Uh, it's basically, it's gonna, it'll fit a man or a woman. Uh, I've got bigger wrists and it will actually fit on my wrist no problem. And some of the features of this, I won't blow through it because I don't want to pass on germs, but it's got a whistle here. It's got a compass that actually does work. It may not be the best compass, but it might get you out of a pinch. And then, of course, it's got a little metal striker on it. Where are we here? Yeah, this way. A little metal striker for the little attached ferrule rod, which is right here in the center. And just to let you know, I have actually started a fire with one of these things. Uh, because I, I, of course, I'm making one for the contest here, but I also made them for myself as well, right? And there's about uh, seven foot of paracord on here. It's black. There's two pieces. There's black piece and a red and black piece. So pretty cool swag there. That's all good stuff. Uh, next will be from my, uh, from my business, just a, a water bottle. And it's one of the ones with the little pop top with the little straw that goes in it. And at the bottom, it's got a little, uh, little cage there you could put like strawberries or lemons or lemon and lime or mint or anything like that and it'll infuse your water with flavor okay rather than buying like a sparkling water if you're a water drinker great little bottle to uh, to take back and forth to work take out in the bush with you do whatever you want with it and uh let's see here next on the list we got a uh Wood woodsman edge fillet knife uh, picked a couple of these up at the Outdoor Adventure Show uh, on a pretty good deal a couple of years ago. And um, I'm going to give the lucky winner one of these. It's uh, part of the package as well. So it is a 7.5 inch fillet knife. Comes with a nice, I guess we'll say plastic sheath or uh, pleather. Maybe pleather, yeah. 
But yeah, nice little fillet knife for anybody out there that's a fisherman or a fisherwoman or a fisher person in today's polit politically correct. I'm getting dry throat talking about all this. And let's see here. All of that's going to come packaged in a box, of course, but inside the box will be this. It's a camouflage backpack cooler. So you could probably get about uh, maybe a dozen, a dozen beers in here probably, two six packs easily, and uh, you know maybe some munchies. Got a couple pockets, zipper pocket, water bottle holder on the side so you could throw a water bottle in there, all good. And that's uh, of course it's logoed with my company name so if, you, uh, if you're the winner you're going to get this as well. So. There's a couple of other things that I'm kind of waiting on uh, to uh, let you know what they are, just uh, in case they do come in the mail, because I, I did order a few. Uh, one is a, a ferro rod um, that I order from a site that I frequent. I ordered a couple, and hopefully if they're in on time, one will go inside of there. And the other one is, I got a, uh, a cutlery set that you've probably seen in one of my last videos. It's uh, a, a cutlery set from a company called High Tensile. And High Tensile makes a plastic that has micro antibacterial properties. So basically what it does is the plastic, it's totally safe, totally safe. I've, I've been using one, I've been doing a little, not research, but I've been using it to do a, uh, uh, a video on a review, a review, I guess you could call it a review. Uh, and they sent me two sets, one I'm using for myself and I'm going to keep for myself because I rather like the set. And it's a nesting set. And it's really cool. It's got a knife and a spork. Um, and they, they were nice enough to send me an extra one that I told them I would give to a lucky winner when I did my, my 500 or whichever giveaway. And they were more than happy to supply me with one. The neat thing about it is for us people that like to get out there and, you know, camp and hike and, you know, throw it in your lunch pail. It might not get washed all the time. And what it does is the, pro the, the, the properties of the plastic actually kill bacteria, things like E. coli and stuff like that. So you can feel, feel safe and rest, rest assured that you're not going to get you know, E. coli from eating with this. Well, you might get it from whatever you're eating, but you're not going to get it from, from the utensils. So I'll also include one of them. So just to recap, got bag and bottle. We got fillet knife. And we've got made by yours truly survival bracelet with all kinds of uh, features on it. Whistle, compass, fire striker, and about uh, seven feet of rope. A Canoe Hound Adventures baseball cap. Just like the one, uh, authentic, like the one I'm wearing. <laughs> and then, of course, the morale patch. Canoe Hound Adventures morale patch. And a few uh, bottle decals or bumper stickers or whatever you want to do with them. You can stick them on Granny's forehead for all I care, but that's all cool stuff. And if you get them, you show them in a video, that'd be awesome. And you're probably wondering what you need to do to be in this. Let's see, I'm offended, Dennis. Are you assuming I'm a person? LOL. <laughs> what did I say wrong, Wolfie? What did I say wrong? <laughs> I don't like fishing. How you doing? Welcome to the house. We're just talking about my Drive for 555 subscriber giveaway. I uh, just went over that. I'll probably recap that a little later. So I made a couple notes. This is what we need to do. This here isn't the official video, but if you want an extra chance to win this stuff, okay, I'm going to put out another video probably early next week, which is going to be the official Drive for 555. And I'll go over all this again, and I'll have the additional items in there. But on this video, when it... After I'm done the live stream and it goes back to uh, to the live post, all you need to do is get on there. This is your chance, okay? Of course, you need to be subscribed to Canoe Hound Adventures. It's my channel. Uh, I would appreciate that if you can. Uh, Got to like the video. Already, you guys are smashing the thumbs up. That's pretty cool. And, of course, maybe share the video. But when you share the video or the next one, which is actually the official Drive for 555, what you need to do is, when you're sharing, hashtag Canoe Hound. C-A-N-O-E-H-O-U-N-D. I know this sounds like a pain in the ass, but you know what? 
got to make it difficult, right? <laughs> but also, if you want to earn another additional entry, when you're leaving a comment on the videos, include the word enjoyed. So, keyword enjoyed, okay? You could just say, I enjoyed my macaroni and cheese tonight, or I enjoyed your live stream, or I enjoyed the presence of my grandmother while watching your live stream. You know, and then, I'm talking about grandmas a lot, right? Eh? I haven't got a granny fetish, don't worry. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoy, send in the, the word enjoyed, I'll know you were watching this video. Uh, if you share it and you use the hashtag canoehound, I'll know that you're in the, you're in the, in the live feed. So that's cool stuff. Okay, so I've been rambling. That's cool. You know, I'll, I'm, I'm so excited that this is happening. This is good stuff. Seth's Adventures. How you doing? How you doing? Thanks for popping in the house. TC Bushcraft. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you in. Got a lot of people in tonight. We're doing quite well. Doing quite well. What do we got? 22. Wow. I think that's one of the biggest I've ever had. 22 watching. 22 watching and only 17 thumbs up. Come on, people. Let's smash that thumbs up button for you. Make me feel good. <laughs> Enjoy. Got it. Thanks. I don't like fishing. That's cool, man. But like I say, you know what? I, uh... This isn't the official, but this this live stream at the end when it goes live, this is your opportunity to, to leave me a couple of uh, a couple of extra things to get yourself a couple extra entries. And what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll probably use random.org to uh, to do it. I'll make a whole list of people. Uh, heck, you know what? Some of you, if you get on and you uh, follow me on Instagram, I can even throw that in as an extra entry. So pretty cool stuff. Thanks, Tyler. You're, you're my roving reporter. You're 23 likes right now. That's cool. Um, McCartney Travel. Yeah, butter knife and no man made anything. LOL, ferro rod or nothing. A butter knife is uh, man made. Yeah. Can you how your channel is group and the lives too? Yeah, has, has anybody out there heard of a. Uh, a bunch of guys that have put together a thing, a, uh, I, don't, I don't know what to call it. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a community. Um, basically, it's called a community outdoors. Um, we have anybody in here from community outdoors? Probably not. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's a bunch of channels that I follow, and these guys all have gotten together, and they all do a video series. They all take a turn and do a video as a collaborative. And what it is is uh, teaching bushcraft skills, camping survival skills. Some of the guys are real characters. Some guys are really serious about what they're doing. This is all, all cool stuff. Yeah, McCartney's probably, yeah, you've probably heard of them, right? But uh, channels like uh, Beat Around the Bushcraft is one. Uh, it's a fellow named Rod. He, uh, he's, he's from Alaska. He lives up uh, with Santa Claus there somewhere. Um, Appy Mountain Trekkers. That's A-P-P-Y, not happy. That's Appy Mountain Trekkers. Uh, Harris Outdoors is another. Uh, Grim Raven, he's the one uh, I started following him a long time ago, and he's the one that sort of got me in tune with this. Uh, a Family Outdoors is another channel that uh, is involved with it. 618 Bushcraft is another. And I was just recently invited halfway through the first season or session that they were doing uh they're starting season two now and i was invited so i guess i'm now part of this project called a community outdoors you can follow us on facebook you go on facebook type in a community outdoors you'll see what it's all about or you could even type it into youtube and you'll find videos done by each of these guys like i say some are funny some are are, are really laid back and some of them are are serious so you know what it, it throws a lot of different aspects and a lot of different looks at what's going on out there so a community outdoors and you can watch for the canoe hound video on there hopefully some at some point this season so that'd be cool it's fun times uh, i don't like saying hi to andrew good thing let's get in here seth you just retracted i seen growing there and it disappeared <laughs> I don't like fishing. My uh, my Instagram is uh, Canoe Hound Adventures. Yeah, I think uh, I better double check that. I never never get asked that very often. 
but yeah, I believe it's uh, just Canoe Hound Adventures. I'll have the same logo. Um, same on Facebook. If you want to follow me on Facebook, it's also Canoe Hound Adventures. And the only one that's different, I believe, is my Twitter account, which is Canoe Hound A. I don't know if, can't remember why. I think they, the letters stopped. They cut you off at so many characters, right? But yeah, so if you uh, go over, yeah, Canoe Hound underscore adventures for, uh, for Instagram. And I get on there. I've only got about 200 followers there. I, I used to take it more seriously, but until once I got into YouTube, I got a little more in tune with this here and spends a, I spend a little more time on here for sure. So, uh, Tyler Wood. Yeah, he did a good one handed challenge for sure. Yeah, Tyler, thanks. Yeah, fat Wood. Yeah, uh, McCartney, where'd you, uh, where'd you get that Fat Wood stick? That was pretty cool. It looked like it was uh, pretty refined and finished. That, uh, that was pretty neat. Is that something that firesteel.com sells as well, or? It's amazing, and email, talk about it all, cool stuff. Yeah, Tyler, man, I'm, <laughs> sorry, I keep going back to Tyler here, but you know what, that's, uh, that's cool. I've been, I've been following his ex exploits. We, him and I actually met on Instagram there ways back, and then I started my channel, and he started his, and I remember one day he come on and said, "Hey man, I follow you on on, on YouTube. You want to follow me?" Uh, and I said, "Yeah, for sure, right?" And I've been watching him ever since. So, so I say I really enjoy his content, and it's all good stuff. So, Jessica, thanks very much for posting that. That's awesome. I guess that's uh, the duties of a moderator. You have the ability to actually post this stuff. So, yeah, there's my Instagram uh, account. Please do check it out. And if you do check it out, that'll, like, you know, when you subscribe to me there or follow me, it's follow on Instagram, that'll give me the perfect opportunity to be able to uh, to follow you back too. So I like checking out all kinds of things on there. I like watching uh, knife, knife making and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's one of my big interests on there for some reason. Uh, McCartney Survival. You know what, man? You, uh, you have, or you're around all the time. I'm going to uh, turn you into a moderator if I can figure out how. <laughs> there we go. Don't know if I can or not. Yeah, this. Oh, there you are. There you are. There you are. Okay. Uh, hide user. My computer's acting funny here. This is crazy. Oh, there we go. There. Add moderator. There you go, McCartney. So there you go. Have liberties with my uh, with my chat. Go for it. <laughs> One day I, I got to get a mirror and, and do a reflection here of what I got going. I got this real shit show of computers. I got my wife's computer here. I got my laptop or my my tablet over here, which is working worth crap. And then my Mac here, which is where I'm doing the actual live stream from. So back to OBS. Okay, so what have I missed here in the chat? Haha, uh -huh, very true. I'm going to do something epic for sure. It'd be awesome. Yeah. Channel's growing and lives are growing too. Okay, I'll check it out. Tyler, congrats, brother. It's amazing. Absolutely. Jessica, can you hang? Okay, yeah. Man, I'm, I'm not that far back. Eh? Uh, it's from Black and White Company. I won it at a bushcraft gathering this year for winning the fire and ice challenge there. Cool. Yeah, it looks like, uh, is it is that is it actually a piece of wood or is it something that's uh, like a press foot, something like you get like, uh, it's that company that makes the fire, uh, fire rope and all that stuff. I've been, I've been looking for some fat wood in my area and I discovered that aside from people's yards, there's not a lot of pine trees, like there's not a lot of conifers around here. Everything's all hardwood and uh, that's, that's evident by watching one of my videos there the place where I have my day camp is all hardwood there so I'm dealing with oak and ash and maple and uh, uh, hickory and you know, all kinds of hardwoods right very very rare to find anything soft so going on hey I'm blue lol thanks Dennis lol you're awesome man thanks McCartney you know you know what man you you're around all the time so uh you know you build a trust. You build a trust. That's all good. Going on a fishing trip this weekend. Just patched all the holes in my jumbo. Yeah, Andrew, how are you making out with your uh, with your canoe? 
How's that coming along? I've seen, uh, seen your video there, uh, restringing your canoe seat. Very cool, very cool. Oh, you're on your way, eh, Andrew? Sorry, man. <laughs> Tell us next time, but thanks for popping out, brother. I appreciate it. Much, uh, much love to you and the family, and can't wait to see you out there on the water at some point. Which brings me to another exciting thing. This Saturday, I keep talking about the weekend, what's, uh, what's going on. I've been talking about this and talking about this. You guys are probably all sick of hearing it from me, about my canoe that I have to go up north to pick up. And the original plan was to go up north, pick it up, and continue on and head up to uh, Algonquin uh, Provincial Park and do maybe an overnighter or a two-nighter or something like that. And the unfortunate part is, is with as busy as my summers get, and I can't keep putting off picking up the canoe because we got a, a, the wife and the family we, and friends, we've all got a very, very busy summer planned. And with that being said, this weekend is the weekend that I have to go pick up my canoe because uh, I might not get the opportunity to get up and I've already paid for half of it, got to pay for the rest when I go there. But... I won't be doing my Algonquin trip, unfortunately, because the park is torrent right now. All the rivers, uh, they're not issuing any permits for interior camping. A lot of the campgrounds are closed because they're flooded right out because of the massive amount of snow that they had up north. Um, not to mention that 90% of the lakes up there still have a foot of ice on them. And, uh, well, you can't, I'd be doing the old uh, canoe scooch across the ice to, <laughs> to try and get around anywhere but uh yeah you know what so unfortunately i'm going to take a drive well not unfortunately but i'm excited i'm going to leave saturday morning i'm going to document the whole thing i'm going to take the uh four and a half hour drive up to gravenhurst ontario to swift canoes I'm going to go there pick up the canoe bring it home and i'm going to put it in a local creek and go for a paddle hopefully sunday so that's, uh, yeah, real exciting, a eh? maiden voyage for the canoe, and it's going to be in a local creek. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> but here's the picking up the canoe anyways, guys and gals. Yeah, well, you know what, Tyler? You don't have to wait to crack a cold one. You can crack a cold one right now if you want, brother. Don't know how it's made, eh, McCartney? Okay. Yeah, I just, uh, I thought it was neat, man. But like I said, I try to find fat wood around here. Heck, I even got off topic of that. And I have found a little bit, um, but I can't even find a down pine tree. It's funny, I, there, every day on my way to work, there's this uh, this vacant lot or vacant yard that uh, I think the police shut it down for a grow operation a bunch of years ago. And the house is all boarded up and abandoned and stuff like that and there, every time I drive by there's this pine tree in the back that's that's falling down so the one day I said ah what the heck you know what I'm gonna break a couple laws or a couple rules here and I'm gonna invade their property and I'm gonna go check it out and when I did that I went there to check out this tree I just wanted to check it out and you know did a couple scrapes with the the saw and with the axe and stuff just to see and I did manage to get a little bit of fat wood but it was all in the exterior part of like the bark um but yeah, I'm having a hard time finding this stuff, and I'll be damned if I can go to the store and buy it. No way. Not when I can find it for free. Maybe. But yeah, so I'll just stick to uh, Birch Park. That's free, and that's everywhere around here. Yeah, TC Bushcraft. Uh, I said that to Tyler, too, you know, about meeting Joe Robinette. Cool dude. Uh, Joe just did a really cool video. He actually showed a lot of his camera gear. I've seen some of his stuff that he uses in his videos because, like, you know, it's in shots when he's doing stuff with uh, Doug Linker and all the other guys, right? But he did a, an extensive video, so you guys can check that out and uh, leave him a comment telling Canoe Hound sent you. But <laughs> he, uh, yeah, he did a good one there on all his camera gear. I guess he's got like three TLSR DSLRs, he's got uh, the microphones, he's got He's got the whole kit and caboodle. He's got a lot of equipment. But then again, if you're pulling in a couple hundred G's a year on uh, YouTube, we'd probably all have that too, right? Thanks, Bigfoot. Appreciate it. Uh, if, you, if you've been in one of my live, live streams uh, the last few, I've talked a lot about my canoe. I've been so excited to pick it up. I got a video from when I bought it there at the Outdoor Adventure Show in Toronto. And I've been itching to get out there, but... 
unfortunately, we've had one of these springs this year that is, is crazy. As a matter of fact, the area where I'm going to pick up the canoe uh, in northern Ontario, or, well, central northern Ontario, I guess you can call it, uh, Gravenhurst area, uh, 10 minutes up the highway from there is Bracebridge, and half of Bracebridge is underwater right now with the flooding from the thaw. So, yeah, that's just the way things are going, and, and part of the reason why Algonquin Park's not issuing any permits for interior camping and, and Massasauga Provincial Park and Arrowhead Provincial Park. So, yeah, all these places are in that area, and I can't go to any of them. Ugh, it's killing me. It was awesome this year. It's been amazing. So now that plans change, I was going with Joe Robinette to do a collab video with him. And why I was, while I was in Canada, I was going to meet Dennis as well. But as said things... Dude, if you're ever in this area, mind you, Joe Robinette and I probably live about uh, a good eight hours apart. He's uh, he's in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, and I live near Niagara Falls. So, but you know what? Hey, that'd be cool. We could meet in the middle somewhere. Uh, and in the middle, there's a lot of camping and canoeing, a lot of Crown Land stuff. So that's cool. That'd be cool. Good stuff. Just all you got to do, man. You know what? Let me know one day. I'll... Uh, I'll Instagram you and I'll shoot you my uh, my information. And um, you've already got my address, obviously, because you sent me a package. So that's all cool. But I'll give you my phone number. We could chat on the phone one day about it. It'd be cool. That's all about the fat wood. Yeah, yeah. Change. <laughs> uh, so I got in contact with Joe and wishes me the best. So he said it will go the day I get back. Cool. Okay, so I, I may have missed this. So are you doing Naked and Afraid or are you doing Alone? Which uh, which of the two are you doing there, Tyler? So McCarty, you've met Joe? Joe's a cool dude. I met him last year at uh, Outdoor Adventure Show in Toronto. And uh, I didn't really know much about him or who he was. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool guy, pretty cool guy. And it was actually from that that I really started following him on uh, YouTube. That, uh, that's how I kind of got hooked up with Joe Robinette. But we're not we're not personal friends, but I have met him. That's cool. Uh, Dennis Bombproof Bushcraft just uploaded her review on Black and White Starters. I'll know more after I watch it. Okay, so that's what it's called, Black and White, Black and White Starters. Cool. I have to look that up. I'm a, I'm a gearhead. I don't know if you guys figured that out. Uh, I like my gear, but I like to buy good gear. So, yeah. oh, okay, guys. So, do do do. Bingo. One plus one. Still snow in Algonquin. Apparently, crazy cold here in Ontario. Yeah, you know what? If uh, and Jessica and uh, Jefferson, they can attest to this. Uh, we follow we follow somebody that's kind of up around Algonquin Park. Uh, it's uh, Cabin Life with Glenna Maureen, and uh, their yard is just uh, just almost finally clear of the snow, and they're probably like maybe half hour, 40 minutes from Algonquin Park, and they said that, yeah, things still are not good up there, so, you know, yeah, it is what it is, man. I'll just have to make up for it in the summertime. Uh, nice time, I know I can't say what's going on legally. Yeah. Oh, sorry, okay, guys, so... I know I've been rambling and rambling and rambling. So I, this is the other part of today's video, or live stream, was uh, my viewer mail. Uh, this here come from a good friend of mine, and this is going to be my shout out to my buddy James at J JP Outdoors. I'll tell you a bit about JP, okay, or James. Him and I became familiar with each other on Instagram, and. Uh, we both started there again, another guy. We both started our YouTube channels at about the same time. And some of the stuff I've seen he was doing on Instagram, Instagram and some of the stuff I was doing, and we kind of became acquaintances on there and then started like, you know, we, we lie or chat or direct message each other and stuff like that. And he's actually planning to come out, come out here this summer. So that's really cool. Um, I did a small giveaway on Instagram and James happened to be the person that won it. Uh, totally legit, totally legit. Uh, 
So going back and forth, and I've seen a couple of videos of his, and I, I kind of have, once again, an inkling of what's in here, but he told me he's sending me a package, and it came in two days ago, and I haven't opened it to this point. I'm going to open it now just to, to confirm what's in here, but this is exciting stuff for me. It's like I never ever thought I'd be getting viewer mail. This is cool stuff. So what I encourage you to do, though, and the reason why I put it on the screen right here, right here, yeah, I, I suck at this. Right there, JP Outdoors. If you guys could check out his YouTube channel, uh, James. When I checked before this started, he was at 98 viewers. Let's see if we could bump him up over that hundred. If you guys go check out his content, he's got some pretty cool stuff. He hasn't got a lot of content, but he's got some cool stuff. And he's been he's been chomping at the bit to get the hundred. He's also doing a hundred subscriber giveaway where he's giving away a really nice bushcraft knife as well as a really nice um, uh, barrel rod with a handle that he carved on it. So great prize for anybody, but he's got to get up over that 100 subscriber mark. So maybe you guys after this can go check him out, JP Outdoors. Tell him Canoe Hound sent you when you leave a comment there so he knows that uh, I'm spreading the love for him. That's cool stuff. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can't push him up over that 100 mark. He, he, he wants to hit over the 100 just so he can get that custom URL, right? So that's cool. But anyways, package from JP Outdoors. I'll hold it this way so that we're not giving away any addresses. Tyler, maybe you could recognize this guy. It's a knife I won from Tyler Woods in his 1,000 uh, subscriber giveaway, and I use it. It's, uh, it's my EDC, my everyday carry. It's actually cool, really cool knife. It's got that little locking feature and stuff on it. So yeah, neat stuff. And sharp as a Dickens. So here we go. Let's see what we got here. Well, holy shit. I was talking about the ferro rods. Oh, look at this. Looks like a, 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 a 3 sixteenths, 3 sixteenths, a quarter inch. Not quite a half inch, but nice ferro rod. Uh, looks like a red oak handle, and he carved my initials in the uh, in the end. C H Canoe Hound. So this is really cool. I think what I'm going to do. One thing it is missing is I'm going to drill a hole in there so I could actually put uh, put a nice lanyard on it. But that's cool, James. If you're on, I know you said you're at work there, so kind of sucks you're not here if I'm uh, revealing this. But this is cool. Very cool. Everybody see that? Very nice. Dennis McCartney says, that's cool. Beers and unboxing. Here's the beers. Good stuff. Wow. I like my ferro rods and this thing's going to get used to shit done for sure. And there's something else in here. It's a can of something. Ooh, oh, I know what this is too. Let's see. Let's hold this up here. So... James has a video on JP Outdoors, and he makes his own wax waterproofing, uh, and he shows you how to make some. So he's actually included a can of this uh, wax waterproofer he makes, and it's good for your leather, for on your leather boots, your sheaths, to keep, uh, keep the moisture in there, keep them waterproof, or water repellent. But yeah, it's a... Uh, I can't remember the ingredients, but I know he's got beeswax in here and some scent stuff. And yeah, really cool. But yeah, look at that, everybody. I guess you can just... And it's not runny, thank God, because I'll be dripping all over my, my freaking computer right here. But James, thanks very much, man. So yeah, a nice, nice little haul, some viewer mail. This will get well used. I just got new hiking boots there a few weeks back, and I haven't waterproofed them yet. So I got a nice ferro rod. And a can of uh, beeswax waterproofer that he'll show you how to make. So check him out, JP Outdoors. Let's get him over the 100. Wait a sec here. In the woods with Bigfoot. Come on, Adventures. James hit 101. Boom. Boom. Thanks very much, guys. I know James is going to appreciate that a ton. A ton. He's been uh, he's been working at it a lot. Uh, he's got a couple cool adventures. You can watch one of his videos there. He uh, went out to visit a buddy over in West Virginia. He lives in Rhode Island, U.S., and uh, he flew out there basically for one night of camping and then one night on the town with his buddy and then back again. So I think that's what he's going to pull with me. He's going to pop on up here and uh, we're gonna get, I want to get him up north and do maybe a, you know, a weekend or at least or if he can come up for a week 
Maybe get a nice uh, canoe trip four or five day or so. That's cool. Uh, very cool indeed. Jefferson, thanks. McCartney, thanks. That's awesome. James at 101. I'm, I'm so happy for the guy. That's cool. I love seeing other people succeed. I like seeing people uh, hit their goals. So I'm going to pull the JP outdoors off the screen here. So make sure you check them out, everybody. Thanks much. Do -do -do. Oh, wrong, uh, wrong mouse. Whoop. Back to the ticker. Yeah. I haven't seen many new people popping in here. How many people we got in the house right now? Guess it really doesn't matter. The ones that are in the house right now are the ones that matter. Right? All my good friends, Jason Guns, Tyler Wood, McCartney in the woods with Bigfoot. Uh, Wolfie's in the house still, I think. Northern Bass Fishing. And of course, all of you have each other. TC Bushcraft. Yeah, that's cool stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. I know a lot of my regulars haven't popped in yet. Anybody uh, know where uh, Jimmy is there from Knight's Armory? If anybody knows him, shoot him a text. Tell him he's missing a good time. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so I, I think I blew the wad on uh, about everything that's going on. I'm going to have to think hard, long and hard to, uh, to figure out what I'm going to talk about next week. So, but yeah, so let's recap. We had... Viewer mail opening. We had some uh, uh, drive for 555 talk. We talked about uh, the community outdoors. Uh, wow, what am I missing? I know there was one other thing. Oh, we talked about cool beers, right? Hey, Jessica's back. Or it was just lurking in the shadows. Just Living's back. Does anybody know of any other live streams going on tonight? Paula. I'm writing that down. Maybe I could drive that into my head. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. My fire challenge. You want you want an idea of what I kind of have planned for that? I, I do have a plan. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to start a fire in a, a little more of an unconventional way. No fire start, or no fire steel, uh, no lighter. Uh, going to try something a la Survivor Man style. How's that? Yeah, good old Les Stroud, eh? Yeah, Tyler, you know what? I will be doing that. I'm going to do a video about going up there to get it because I, I haven't posted many videos lately. Oh. And the reason being, guys and gals, uh, the weather here has been shit. And I know it has been all across North America, right? But uh, we've had here, mind you, I can't get much done during the week because I'm always at the shop. But when weekends come, the crappy weather, rain, cold, damp, is giving me the opportunity basically to finish off the renovation we've been doing here at home and that's getting closer now thank goodness <laughs> but just yeah i haven't had the opportunity to get out i haven't been to my uh my day camp in nearly three weeks and i got a nice big pile of wood there and want to go there and cook a nice steak right on the on the fire again but i can't man i can't get out there uh the place where i have to drive into if i try driving in there now the ground is so soft I, i'd sink my truck right up to the axles and I'm not about to do that to my brand new truck. So, uh, yeah, it is It is what it is, right? It is what it is. Uh, when the weather comes and gets nicer. Heck, I pulled my boat out of the garage almost a month ago. Uh, got a nice fishing boat. And it's sitting in the driveway. I haven't, I haven't even fired, fired the engine up. And usually by now I like to get out there, fire up the engine, uh, take it for a good cruise, burn out the old gas so I could put in some fresh stuff. And... Uh, Maybe do a little bit of fishing, but they just let the ice boom out on Lake Erie. Yeah, if, if you go to Lake Erie right now, uh, over by Buffalo, between Buffalo and Fort Erie, there's still there's still ice, like icebergs floating down the river. So, and they they're all eventually going to end up going over Niagara Falls. Yeah, but yeah, man, there we <laughs> this winter, <laughs> this spring, 
shitty, shitty, shitty. Uh, man, the last two nighter was crappy rainy. Yeah, I seen that video, Tyler. Yeah, you guys got pretty wet there, eh? Your buddy, you said your buddy ended up uh, crashing in the tent with you because uh, he uh, he didn't fare out so well in his hammock. <laughs> did you have, did you have trouble setting up your uh, rain fly on that tent? It looked pretty loose on there, or was that just because of that uh, that that tent platform that you had it set up on? And last, uh, I did it Tuesday. What, what did you did Tuesday, TC? What did I miss? Suspense is killing me. The guys. Chasing guns. Every time I go camping, it's flooding. Yeah, every, every, everybody that's going camping right now is getting flooded out there, chasing. For sure. Oh, Ford guys. Okay. That's what you're talking about, four guys. What? What's wrong with Ford? I love my Ford pickup truck. I wouldn't buy a Ford car or anything else, but I'd buy a Ford pickup. I think they make the best pickups. Matter of opinion. Not endorsed. <laughs> Did you post it already? Man, I'm not getting any of your notifications. I find that happens a lot. A lot of no notif a lot of people I have the bell or the notification bell hit on. Uh, not very often I get notifications. Maybe it's because I shut off notifications on my phone. That's probably a good reason, right? Anybody else get inundated by YouTube crap? Every time you, somebody clicks a subscribe button or leaves you a comment or anything like that, I had to shut it off, man. I was getting like a uh, hundred comments a day or, you know, things from YouTube. And it's like, man, I can't have all this crap on my phone. Yeah, it was the platform. Yeah, I thought so. Those platforms, I, I've, I've used them a few times in the past up north at uh, different provincial parks, and I'd rather I'd rather sleep on a rock than on one of them platforms. Nothing like climbing up on a platform to get to your your tent too, right? <laughs> the thing's elevated like three feet. Uh, you're telling hi at TC in Northern Pass. Anyone else that came in while well, was. <laughs> you're just bouncing around there, Wolfie. Is anybody else having a live stream tonight that you've uh, that you've seen? Maybe once we're all done, mine. Maybe we can go uh, go do a raid. That's all the crazy these days. Okay, your fire challenge. Okay, that's what you're talking about, TC. Yeah. Thank you. Many practices to come. I had to walk the mutts. Yeah. How's the pup coming along? The pup's got to be uh, going to be another big one like your other dogs, right? Funny, we're we're talking about my daughter not feeling well today, and uh, when I got home, <laughs> my dog jumped right up on my lap, and it's like she she must have been bored stiff all day at home with my daughter because my daughter wasn't feeling well, couldn't take her out or play with her or even interact with her, so. My dog jumped on my lap and she didn't want to let me go. And I said, okay, Molly, sorry. We got to leave you home because I got to take Erica to the hospital. But now she's at my other daughter's house. So. Yeah, I can't help it. Uh, Tyler Wood, turn on the other as well. Phone. I didn't grow up at the weather radar. Sort of tip trips. Change the start. TC Bushcraft, you'll do awesome. We can all learn something from you. Yeah, are you posting that uh, video soon, TC? Like to watch that? Pick up some pointers. Anybody out there use a uh, what do you call it? Flint flint napping or one of those flint steels? Ever try f starting a fire with that? I got my buddy uh, making me uh, uh, one of the, the steel things right now. Uh, my buddy Beastly Ironworks sent me a video or not a video, a picture on. Uh, my messenger and showing me that uh, he's got it in a straight he has to bend it now but he has to pick up some coke for his uh, for his forge so uh, chasing three guns it's GA it doesn't matter what the radar says Do -do -do. yeah you know what I can't type either that's why I'd rather be on this end talking and I'm not the best speaker either so I, I make more typos speaking than I do typing <laughs>
Wolfie, I know uh, we're all, you guys are talking about that uh, that Canadian collaboration there in Niagara Falls. Um, have you have you met anybody on that's actually going to be attending that? Like I know uh, you follow Kay and all them, but have you ever met any of the people that are actually coming down to the falls, or is this going to be a first time for you as well? Northern Bass says, congratulations to uh, JP Outdoors for his uh, 100. That's cool. I'm glad, I'm glad I was able to help him uh, get up there. That's cool. My slice of heaven, Joey, Joey, Joey. How you doing, brother? Thanks for popping in. Much appreciated. I was uh, watching some of your uh, your feed today there, and you are talking a lot about the rain and how it's uh, kept you from working. I know eh? everybody, everybody's complaining about the rain right now. Uh, they say April showers will bring May flowers, but May's here now, so it could stop any time, right? That's cool. Joey, you probably know a lot of people in the house here tonight. I actually met them. Nope, would be the first for me as well. Yeah, you know what? I, I've never met it. Actually, I don't know. Aside from like a couple of... Uh, the celebrity YouTubers. I haven't really met many YouTubers. Uh, I know, uh, I don't know if anybody's familiar with um, a YouTuber. She goes by the name of, well, her, her name is Christina, but she goes, uh, her YouTube channel name is Camper Christina. Uh, she lives uh, down in the Niagara region where I live and never had an opportunity to, to meet up with her. But uh, these guys that I made the, uh, the bottle decal for, uh, Paddling Pirates, check out their YouTube channel and their one video that's up there right now. But uh, they know her quite well because she uses their uh, their twig stoves as well. So I'm hoping to uh, to meet her or maybe uh, do a collaboration with her, maybe even a little canoe trip. She's uh, She does a lot of tripping. I think she, she, I bet you she spends three quarters of the year up north, made her own uh, winter camping uh, canvas tents. Not one, but two of them. She's got videos on her site of her making all that stuff up. It's really cool. She's uh, very in tune with what she does, and uh, she enjoys doing it, obviously. So that's cool stuff, too. Do, 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 do. What do we got here? Herbert Outdoors is doing a live stream. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe later on there, uh, North Bass, maybe we'll go over there and give him a raid. That'd be cool. Unless he comes over and raids us first. <laughs> if, uh... Never been rated. Never been rated from uh, another uh, channel. I have rated, or we have rated, but I've never been rated personally myself. Hey guys, if you haven't already done so, I'd appreciate it if you could smash that uh, thumbs up button. I know uh, I smash it every time I'm in a, a live stream. Just to show a little bit of appreciation and love. Ah, Fear to Tooth 77. Uh, the future son-in-law. The future son-in-law. Can't wait for more video content this summer, D. Yeah, for sure. I guess you'll be part of it, eh? Fear of the tooth. That's uh, that's my future son-in-law, Maxwell. Everybody could uh, feel free to give him a welcome. McCarty, you heading down to see uh, Jimmy over at Knight's Armory? He, uh... If I ever go to Florida, he is like one of the main tourist attractions I'm going down there to see. Hell with Disney. I'm going to go down there to see Jimmy. He's he's one cool dude. He's one cool dude. I'm surprised he's not in here tonight. He's usually uh, he's usually on the live streams. And he'll pop in for a bit there. I always check out his on Sundays when he's at the uh, the flea market. So. So Maxwell tonight and Joey, you know what? I'll give you guys a recap because you joined us. Uh, as you've probably seen from the title of my uh, my thumbnail, uh, we're talking about viewer mail. I got uh, from a buddy of mine, JP Outdoors, a guy I follow, and he follows me. He actually sent me a really cool. I've been playing it with it. I can't put this thing down. Uh, nice ferro rod. It's got my initials carved in the end. CH Canoe Hound Adventures, right? So Canoe Hound. And then he also made me a really cool can of. Uh, uh, beeswax weather or waterproofer for leather sheaths and boots and stuff like that so I got that in the mail that was a uh, really cool second piece of uh, viewer mail that I got from uh, since I've started my channel the other one was from Tyler Wood a guy that's in here tonight thanks again Tyler can't thank you enough 
Uh, and then the other big thing that uh, we're doing is uh, my drive for 555. I know my subscribers, I'm probably sitting like just below 500 right now. Last I checked, that was at 494. So if there's anybody in the house here that hasn't subscribed to me, I appreciate your love. That'd be awesome. But basically what we want to do is uh, I'm, I'm starting a giveaway. Uh, this is the first reckoning of it. I will be posting a video in a few days. That's more in tune with details. But I'll, I'll give a recap again. There's like a bunch of, uh, of decals. A little mini bottle like for putting on your water bottles. First generation logo and center, second generation. One has the dog being Molly. The other one doesn't. That's our newest, that's our newest logo. We've got uh, a morale patch. Embroidered morale patch that you could put on anything, right? That's cool. Throwing in a uh, survival bracelet that I uh, personally made. It's got about seven feet of uh, 550 paracord in black and red and black. It's got a uh, it's got a whistle, little whistle right here. It's got a compass, and it's also got a fire steel and striker that are fire steel. And striker and you can actually make a fire with that so that's cool uh, throwing in a canoe hound adventures hat like the one I am personally wearing and you have a choice of either tan or black depending on uh, if you're the winner or not uh, throwing in a fillet knife a woodsman edge seven and a half inch fillet knife and sheaf brand new in the package still from my business Throwing in a uh, fruit infusion water bottle, so that's great to take with you when you're out in the bush. That's just a piece of paper inside there, but uh, that's sponsored by uh, my company, Great Signs and Graphics, where we can print almost anything. And basically it's got the little sippy straw, like I say, a little thing in the bottom where you can put fruit in there, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. Uh, you could even put your dentures in there and shake them around if you... Uh, <laughs> bad joke. <laughs> And that's all going to come in this handy little uh, camouflage uh, cooler bag that's a backpack. So you can put that on your back and you can go hiking to your favorite spot. Got to figure out how to put this on Molly and get her to carry my beer when I go to the day camp. But yeah, it's got a couple zippered pockets and of course it's lined so you can fit basically like a dozen beers in here. Maybe 14 or 16 if you're really crafty. And all you need to do, if you want a bonus chance to win, is subscribe to me. You've got to comment on this live stream once it's reposted later after everything's all done. And yeah, so you're going to leave a comment. In the comment, if you use the word enjoyed, and I, I said like, you know, I enjoyed a beer while watching your live stream, or I enjoyed your live stream, or I enjoyed having grandma with me during our live stream, whatever. If you have the word enjoyed in there, I'll give you two, two ballots. And then if you uh, share this stream and the next video that's going to come out with me, basically all the information about the drive for 555 and hashtag Canoe Hound Adventures. Or just, sorry, Canoe Hound. Hashtag Canoe Hound. That way there I can see who has shared the video. There's another entry for you. So there's going to be plenty of chances. I'll explain it more in my next video. But you guys are getting the first sniff at what we're giving away. So get me to that 500. First, I got to hit the 500, but I thought I'd have something unique. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Good stuff. Cheers to you guys for following me. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, let's pop out that chat so I could read again. Anybody new coming to the house while I was babbling on? Uh, I kind of. Feel, cut a field yesterday with a million of dandelions. You got dandelion. Well, you, you're you're nice and warm where you are there, eh, Joey? You're lucky, man. Weather here has been so crap. <laughs> it's just crap. TC, where did you make your logos? Uh, TC Bushcraft. I uh, I own a print shop. I uh, I have a print shop that we do. We specialize in wide format digital and offset printing. And basically, I made these decals in my shop. Uh, they're actually these are these are good. These aren't the cheap paper crap type ones. These are actually on a uh, 
vehicle grade vinyl and they've been shape cut on our printer and they also have a clear coat laminate on them also a vinyl and these here you can put these on your vehicle and they'll last for like seven five six seven years um, I put them on my water bottles uh, I throw that in the dishwasher and it doesn't it doesn't peel off it's it's very durable it's uh, it's a good material it's got a, a high uh, high tensile uh, adhesive on it so it's going to stick for a while that's all good stuff and there's one I actually just made for another youtuber uh, new YouTube channel that's just started out these guys are also the producers of a uh, a twig stove called KID K-I-H-D if you check out K-I-H-D products online you'll see their uh, their twig stoves they got uh, some pretty cool stuff and I, I really like their stove became friends with the uh, the owner and uh, so we made up decals for him and I've done for a couple others, and i got a couple others that are interested. And if you're interested, 100 of these, 3-inch circles, or you could do squares, or you do triangles, or you can do the blob. You can do whatever shape cut. Our machine will shape cut any shape that you need. You're looking at about uh, $95 for 100 decals, plus shipping, and if they have to be designed, designed. So, yeah. so there's my plug for Great Signs and Graphics. You can check us out at greatsigns.ca. G-R-E-A-T-S-I-G-N-S dot C-A. And back from our regular to our regularly scheduled program. TC, you got to 72 degrees Fahrenheit yesterday. We had a warm day yesterday, but it rained too. So yeah. a family outdoors. There we go. There's a there's one of my fellow uh, community outdoors uh, fellas there. We we're just talking about that earlier. Tia and Andy, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for popping in. Much appreciate your uh, showing up to my live stream. Uh, okay, I'm back. What did I miss? You didn't miss much there, Family Outdoors. I was uh, earlier. I don't know if you were in the house when I was talking about uh, about a community outdoors and how we're all getting ready to start uh, season two. I'm not sure if the, that trailer was uh, is the final trailer. I seen Grim Raven had posted. Uh, uh, a preview of our trailer to to our group. So, but uh, yeah, we got beat around the bushcraft. We got Appy Mountain Trekkers, Harris Outdoors, Grim Raven, a family outdoors, six eighteen bushcraft, and yours truly, Canoe Hound Adventures. Will be doing the uh, the episodes this year. So yeah, and no problem there, family outdoors. You know what? Hey, you're here now. You're here now. Thanks very much. Every little bit counts. I'm trying to get my view time hours up, and every time I do one of these live streams. Uh, you know, I could jump by 30 hours, which is, is, is huge. huge. Um, I'm sitting right now at about uh, my view time hours when I checked this morning. I was at 943 view time hours. So I still got, you know, 3,000. I'm, 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 I'm a quarter of the way there and halfway there for my, uh, my subscribership. So what I need to do is get them both up. I need some... I need some of my good friends out there to pick one of my playlists and just let it play in the background all day when you're at work. Did I say that out loud? Did YouTube hear me? <laughs> you know what, McCartney Survival? I, I could put a word in for you. Uh, I, I thought it was pretty cool, this uh, community outdoors. Like I said earlier, some of the guys are... Uh, are, are quite funny some are quite serious uh, but you know what every every one of us kind of know our own little skills and our, our own little things that we'd like to share with everybody and you definitely have a skill set that uh, that people would want to see heck just look at your your one-handed fire starting challenge right so like you know stuff like that that's all good good stuff for sure anytime was a great state challenge yeah Wolfie, yeah, I could, I could, I could print one decal if you want, but the, of course, the more you get, it's all in the setup, right? Uh, once, once we, uh, once we have the setup done, it's just a matter of me punching in a number as to how many are going to get produced. Usually, when somebody does an order of a hundred decals, they end up with usually could end up anywhere from like a hundred and five to a hundred and ten, because reason being is we print on material that's about thirty inches wide or. 36 inches wide depending uh, what's in the roll or what's on the machine at the time but uh, you know I'm not going to stop at exactly 100 if I have room to put fill a roll 
then I'll fill the rope. Like, you know, it's, it's kind of bonus. So basically the decals are under a dollar a piece. But, you know, if you wanted a handful, if you wanted like a dozen of them, uh, we could do a dozen. If we could do different sizes. Uh, over the years, I've been, been in the sign making industry for, what, 12 years now. Uh, I've done I've done sticker packs where you have like you know you have two big ones two small ones a different one that's a bar like you, you can really mix it up but that gets custom but just for this type of thing for people that are uh, online and YouTube and uh, Instagram and stuff like that the ones I'm getting interest for are people that want to do like you know water bottles uh, think think of this uh, for that uh, the Canadian collaboration right that'd be cool. That'd be, that'd be a real keepsake that, you know, all these people that are coming down, if they were able to go home and take something home with them, maybe I should talk to uh, the organizer of that, get my little plug in there, right? but no, just, uh, it's something that'd be really cool that, you know, it, it's a keepsake to take home with you, you know, you could put it, put it on your water bottle, stick it on the windshield of your car, or whatever, they're, they're vehicle grade, uh, they'll put up to the weather, they'll put up to dishwashing, these, this has been through the dishwasher a number of times with my own decal on it, and hasn't even shown any signs of, uh, appealing or anything so yeah they're pretty good yeah I appreciate that for sure yeah we'll talk McCar uh, Mason we'll uh I'll, I'll mention it to the other guys there uh, family outdoors I don't know if you know uh Mason over here at McCartney travel or <laughs> McCartney travel McCartney survival but uh uh Guys, guy, guy knows this stuff too. You know what? He, uh, he could probably be certainly a, a good contributor to this group. Uh, maybe when the next season rolls around, I know I waited. I was interested there in the first season, and you guys picked me up for the second season. So that's cool, and I look forward to it for sure. Hey, there's my buddy James at JP Outdoors. Thanks for popping back in. Hey, the unboxing went awesome. I absolutely love the ferro rod, and I am so happy I got some of this uh, waterproofer. And guess what, buddy? We got you over 100 subs. Our good people in here come over to your site. I don't know what you're at now, but uh, I'm sure you're uh, probably 102, 103. Yeah! Got you, brother. <laughs> yep. When you come down here for your camping trip this summer... We'll celebrate, man. We'll tip a few of these bad boys. How's that? That's good stuff. No, but James, I'm really happy with this. And you, you missed this. this. This is how we got you. Let me, uh, let me show you something before you take off again. Uh, this here, and whoo! Look at that. You're on screen, brother. We, uh, that's I put that up there when I was doing the unveiling or the unboxing. So that people would know who made this fine thing. Something you guys want to check out with JP too. He's uh he's trying to make uh we're not trying, he's actually succeeding. He's making his own uh collapsible buck saw. One of the ones with the, the two pieces of wood and the wood here and the twisty thing that goes on the top and the blade on the bottom for tension and stuff. And uh he's making prototypes of that. And I think he wants to I think he wants to make these things and uh, eventually start selling them. Uh very cool, very cool. So that's good stuff. I'm here for good now. Oh, you just got off work, man? Hey, we got Kay and Matt from uh, Happy Trails Hiking In. How you doing? How you doing? I see you there. Is that is it Kay or Matt or both of you? I could I could see your chat there, right? Oh, you come in way earlier. I I apologize there if I miss you guys. I, I get rambling on here, but Dennis hasn't got the uh, Dennis has got not the best eyes, and these are actually dollar store glasses, right? So they're not the best thing. And I got my chat because I'm still getting used to this OBS software where my chat is way up there on my wife's computer, and I'm watching the OBS for the screen. I guess I shouldn't even be watching the screen because. I stare at the screen now. I don't want to scare you guys, right? But, <laughs> but yeah, okay, that's uh, cool. Thanks for popping in. I appreciate it, guys. It's uh, been having a good night there. And uh, like I say, really excited there. Just K on Thursday. Matt working? It's too bad because I haven't had a chance to tip a beer with uh, with Matt for a while. I have to, you know what? 
when you guys come down here, like I say, I can't I can't be available for you guys on a Saturday because my daughter's getting married on that day. And Friday will probably be a shit show too because we'll have like the rehearsal party and the decorating of the hall and all that stuff. But uh, I really like to get together with the crew uh, over there at Scotts or wherever you guys are planning on uh, setting up house there. And once that happens, like you know, then we can sit down and actually tip a beer. But I'll, I'll bring, I'll definitely, I'll bring Matt, uh, Matt a couple of my favorites uh, IPAs because I know he'll uh, he'll really appreciate that. And Wolfie, I got you in there too, brother. I'll bring you one as well. Uh, where are we here? I'm just gonna go back to my main screen. Boop. Say goodbye to James. Yep. So yeah, that's cool stuff. Uh, good Lord, Dennis, you should get some real glass so you can see your adventures. Yeah, you know what? I got great vision for distance, but uh, up close, the reading stuff, I, it, it sucks, man. I My wife and I had laser eye surgery done probably 14 or 15 years ago, and they said that at that time. They said, well, you know, you'll get a good seven, eight years out of it, and then after that, you'll start needing glasses for reading and stuff. And I'll tell you, it was like flipping a switch. One day, all of a sudden... The vision was perfect, perfect, perfect. Shit, I can't see. I can't see. So that's that's what happened with the laser eye surgery. It was great uh, all through my childhood. Well, my, most of my teenage years, wearing you know the glasses. They weren't thick glasses, but couldn't always wear the cool shades because you know I had to have my vision right. Well, I had the laser eye surgery done when I was old enough and I could afford it, and it lasted me a bunch of years. And I'm happy I did it. But I'll tell you, I wish I, I wish it was still effective. That'd be cool. Uh, Matt is, has rehearsal on Thursdays. No worries. Having have a nice evening. Good stuff. Good Lord. Happy trails. We'll be there on Sunday too. Are you? How long are you guys down there, Kay? Are you guys down for like a full week? Are you staying at Scott's? Or are you? Uh, are you uh, just going down there for a couple of days? JP, I see. Yeah, okay. Wax cotton carrying. Is that the one you made out of your pants? <laughs> you, you wax the cotton and then uh, sewed it all up. True that. True that there, Family Outdoors. Yeah, I, I film it, then I can watch it on the big screen. For sure. <laughs> Wolfie, if you ever come down here on the bike, man, on the motorcycle, come on down for sure. Uh, you know what? I'm in Niagara. I, I got no problem. I'd uh, I'd meet up with you there for for a beer or two. And hell, if you had to camp in my backyard, I got a I got a good enough yard that you can camp in. Joey, thanks for coming out, man. Appreciate it. Have yourself a great night. I'll catch you on your uh, next live stream or uh, one of your videos there. See, you got a new video posted there. I haven't had the opportunity to watch it, but uh, I will check that out for sure. But thanks for coming out, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, my friend. Do -do -do. Yeah, you had LASIK too, eh, JP? Yeah, it's weird, eh? It's, it's, it amazes me what they could do with a freaking laser beam. I still remember laying there in a chair, and they got these things on your eyes and put the freezing drops in, and then all of a sudden... You, you could still see because they got your eyes propped open like this and then all of a sudden you could see the, the blade that cuts your, uh, I guess what do you call it, they're your lens. And, and then you see the black dots when they're shooting your eyeball. Yeah. Anybody getting sick yet? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, funny. So, you oh man, you're just down Saturday and Sunday, ache. Shit. I really, I really like to come down there and meet up with you guys. That uh, you know, it's, it, you know, the funny thing is, is when when we were all chatting there about you guys doing this thing coming down around the twenty first. I knew something was going on in the back of my mind. It just didn't, it just didn't pop right. That oh shit, that's the day my daughter's getting married. So it's like oh man, because I, re I really wanted to hook up with everybody, but uh, you never know. Sunday, maybe I'll make it a point to uh, to come on down. Right outside of uh, Scott's there, there's just a Tim Hortons, which is a, a coffee shop here in Canada. I'm sure you're familiar with Tim Hortons. We could even go there and just meet for a quick coffee or something. That'd be cool. As you're heading out, where, where are you heading after uh, Niagara Falls? Because is that like 
heading back home or are you heading back somewhere else in Ontario camping? Well, it looks like Family Outdoors has got a duck out. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, no problem giving that shout out. Hey, my videos are going to be on there too. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I didn't catch your name there, Family Outdoors. But uh, you know what? Uh, definitely shout it out because I think it's beneficial. Everybody will get to learn a little bit of stuff. And uh should be a good time. But you know what? That'll be. I, I, I appreciate you guys letting me into the crew there. It's a uh, good, good bunch of guys. Good bunch of guys for sure. And we had our discussion going the other night there about uh, having a collaboration or a get-together. But what I want to do is on my live streams, I want to get into doing some uh, collaboration videos where we could do interviews and talk to people. It would be good to have a couple people from Community Outdoors to be on here and talk about why we're doing it and you know, our reasoning behind it. And that's all good stuff, right? Okay, that's good, Kay. You know what? <laughs> like I say, I, I could even bring you Tim Hortons coffee and some donuts on Monday morning there while you guys are packing up the head on out, right? So I, I just think it's cool that you guys are coming down my neck of the woods. Gotcha. We'll be heading home. It will take two days. Where Whereabouts do you live, Kay? Are you in like central U.S.? And actually, you know what? I should uh, I should talk to Steph outside. You know Steph. Uh, he's in Toronto, and he's actually pretty close. And him and I are striking up a bit of a friendship. I should let him know because well, he's obviously privy to what's going on there with uh, with the Canadian collaboration. So, or collaboration Canada, whichever one it is. Yeah, but uh, that'd be cool if he came down too. And then uh, you know we could all sit down and tip a tip a, a cup of coffee, a, a cup of coffee. You can, you can share that name with Matt too, eh? The name of my beer. You see it there at the bottom? Pompous Ass. Pompous Ass. One of my favorites. So he can't, he doesn't have to be offended when I offer him either a Pompous Ass or a Juicy Ass. They're both two of my favorite beers. So. <laughs> Uh, Sean, we can't wait to see your content. We'll chat later. Sean, thanks, man. Once again, thanks for popping in and joining us. And look at that. There's a friendly old face in the house. Sty North, my buddy Sty. You always get excited when I pop in. I'm so happy you popped into my stream, man. Much appreciated. Don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, Sty North, but I'll tell you one thing. If you want a good storyteller around the campfire, Sty is your man. Sty is your man. Yeah, I enjoy getting on his streams, and he uh, he tells some good stories, and uh, he'd be one of them guys I would definitely drink a beer around a campfire with and uh, listen to some of his stories because he's been around the block a couple times for sure. JP, you know what that means, eh? Be right back. Need some water. It means you got to go for a squirt. So yeah. That's uh if I if I said, excuse me guys, I gotta go get another drink. Listen to the background, you hear the toilet flush because it's just around the corner in the next room, so <laughs> Yeah. What's Sty up to tonight? What are you doing? Keeping yourself busy. Okay, thanks for coming out. Much appreciated. Say hi to Matt. And uh, like I say, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna do everything in my power, uh, short of ditching my kids uh, my kids' wedding to come on out and meet you guys, and a few of the others hopefully that uh, that are that are coming out. Uh, looking forward to it for sure. I wish I had the whole weekend to spend with you guys because I'll tell you there'd be some great uh, some great video opportunities. And if I had more time that weekend, it'd be awesome because there are some fantastic uh, hiking trails around Niagara Falls. Uh, I believe I told you the one time about the Bruce Trail. It's actually uh, not too far from where you're gonna be camping. Uh, the start of it actually is, is uh, probably, ooh, maybe a 20 minute drive from where you're gonna be camping. 
and that'd be a really cool place. But if you have the opportunity, get down to Niagara Gorge, uh, do some of the hiking trails down there because it takes you right from the top of the escarpment there all the way down, and you can dip your feet in the, the mighty Niagara. So, anyways, have yourself a great night there, Kay, and uh, thanks for popping out. Much appreciated. Take care, happy trails. Yeah. Ah, uh, canoe hound, a few beers and sty tea <laughs> or two around the fire would be awesome. Yeah, just kicking back tonight. Good man, you're not you're not going live tonight, are you, Sty? I know you're on you're on what a few times a week, right? I always happen to pop around, and it's always the same people that are going live all the time. Hey, eh? you've got R Five Adventures, you've got Sty North, you've got Pusa Studios. Uh, Kay and Matt there, they're on all the time too, or often. Yeah. We all do it. We all do our circuit. We all do our rounds. Eh? Uh, the other one is I follow too is uh, Cabin Life with Glenn and Maureen, and then sometimes uh, Glenn also has uh, uh, Chill with Glenn. So that's all cool stuff too. Wolfie, we were talking about those uh, those decals though. If, uh, if, if you want to get some made up, man, like I say, it's just... Uh, I'm not looking to make a lot of money off it. It's just sometimes I could print them on materials that uh, just to fill in voids and stuff like that. So if you ever wanted to get a couple made up, just to sit, tell your friends, hey man, check out my cool decals, right? But uh, give me a call. Give me a call. Uh, you, I can be reached. You can find me up uh, through my website at greatsigns.ca. And yeah, we're located in Welland, so. Stai, I got something for you, buddy. We're, uh, tonight we're talking about my drive for 555, which is uh, 555 subscribers. Uh, right now, I'm not sure where I'm sitting. I'm probably still at 494. I'm trying to hit 500 first, but we're doing a 555 subscriber giveaway. Got all kinds of neat things. All you need to do on this repost tonight, just go on there, leave me a comment, and you get yourself in. Get yourself subscribed. That'd be awesome, and hit that, that like button, so... We got some cool stuff like, hey, you'd like this for your fishing adventures. A nice fillet knife, right? Brand new. Maybe something to carry a cold beverage in, like a nice water bottle. That's going to be part of the package. Survival bracelet made by yours truly. A baseball cap just like this. Cooler bag. And a bunch of uh, canoe hound decals. Stickers that you put on your water bottles or your date, put that on your forehead, morale patch, and a couple other items. So make sure you uh, you get in and subscribe there, Sty, and you'll be uh, you'll be eligible. So that'd be cool. Just realize I say that a lot. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Wednesday and Sunday. Anybody that needs a, wants to watch something on Wednesday or Sundays. Get on and check out Stye. Give him some support. He uh, he's got a fun uh, a fun live stream. I enjoy it. I usually sit there and my wife will be watching TV and I'll sit there on the light on Stye's live stream and sometimes I'll doze off a little. It's so relaxing. He's got the relaxing music playing in the background. He's got the the cabin picture and his bushes in the background on the wall. Yeah, good stuff. So JP, where's your count at? What's your uh how far over uh how far over a hundred did we get you? Let's see, go to your channel. Hundred and one. The big one oh one. Now you can get your URL, get it before they take it away from you. <laughs> Hey James, you got a couple of my decals. What can you tell our adoring fans about uh, about the decals? Are they good quality? What else did I send you? I, I sent you. Uh, did I send you? Uh, I sent you one of my survival bracelets too. Did I not? And one of the uh, survival lanyards that I made on one of my videos. Chasing Guns, thanks for coming out, man. I much appreciate your support tonight. It's uh, 
always greatly greatly appreciated when you guys come out and spend time with me. I know I might not be the most interesting person, but uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. And I uh, hope to get some new content out. Hopefully you get in on the uh, 555 giveaway. And uh, good luck with your chances there. But you have all the secrets. Share the video. Hashtag Canoe Hound. Use the word enjoy in the comments. And that'll get you some extra entries. So that's cool. Yep, yep, yep. Jessica, I wonder where uh, Glenn and Maureen are tonight. Usually they pop their head into the stream here for a little while. Hey, last night on their stream, you gave them a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables and flowers. How come I didn't get any fruits, vegetables, and flowers tonight? I feel left out. I could do without the flowers, but I like fruits and vegetables. <laughs> It's my understanding that Jessica works in a greenhouse, so she's got a green thumb. Uh, good question. <laughs> yeah. JP, you said they're actually better than most. I have seen TBH. What am I missing? What's TBH? TBH, TBH, TBH. Hey, Sty, do you know most people in here? A lot of these people, uh, I, I imagine, frequent your uh, your live streams as well. Oh, yeah, here. 13 people watching. I guess interest is dying off. Eh? Yeah, we're coming up actually on a two-hour mark here. I think uh, we'll probably uh, drift on here. Oh, there's all my fruits and vegetables. I'm going to be a healthy boy. Thanks, Jessica. Much appreciated. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Dennis. Yeah. To be honest. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what TBH means. Okay. Hey, I'm, I'm 55 years old. I, I don't get all this lingo sometimes. I'm still, I'm still working on LOL. <laughs> Yeah. LOL stands for look. Ooh, look. Right? Isn't that what that means? Yeah, the decals are awesome quality. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Like I say, you can stick them on your car and they'll last you a long time. So that's cool. I, uh, I always said that uh, my wife, hey, she says, uh, you know, how are you going to tie business into YouTube? I said, you watch. I said, I could, I could you know, get a good way to market this type of thing, right? But... I don't, I don't try to do everything for business. I've got to have something that's enjoyable. Hey, James, I was just telling everybody tonight, too. Uh, this weekend, I'm heading up north. I'm going to finally pick up my canoe. Uh, I can't continue on. Uh, I can't continue on to go do my uh, my outdoor overnighter that I wanted to at Algonquin Park because the park, they're not actually opening it until they're saying at the earliest May 10th because they have fl severe flooding up there. They're, all their rivers and streams, like their streams are full-fledged rivers right now because of all the, the runoff from all the ice and melt and snow and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a shit show up there around Alg Algonquin and Massasaga and Arrowhead, which are some parks I could access in the area where I'm going to get the canoe. But I'm going up there nevertheless on Saturday. Got to pick it up because I might not get a lot of opportunity in for the next month or so and I don't want to go that long without the canoe. Get it down here and I'll put it in a couple of our creeks and rivers around here and just go have some fun and shoot some videos and go cook some steak or bacon or something out there, right? But yeah, so that's that's what I got planned for Saturday. Uh, not working, I'm actually heading north, four hours north, and I might stop in and uh, Jefferson and Jessica, I might stop in and see uh, Glenn, Glenn and Maureen because they're right up in the area where I got to get my canoe. So I'm going to shoot them a text tomorrow there and see if they want to meet uh, at a coffee shop or something and finally get to meet them because they're they're one couple. I, I really enjoy watching their live streams. Uh, I don't know if you've seen last night, Maureen was poking fun at me. She said something. And she was, We were talking about the mammals and the platypus. Remember that? And uh, she <laughs> she said, I, I, I piped up and said, yeah, mam mammals have, have fur. 
or hair, right? And she, she looks at Glenn and she says, oh, well, <laughs> for most of the time they do. And then we all were, we were all laughing about it. And then she says, right, canoe hound? <laughs> it's like, I got hair. Not a lot of it, but I got hair. So, yeah. But now I want to stop up there and see them. That'd be cool. Maybe they'll give me some of that maple syrup that they made. <laughs> Yeah, I hope so, Jefferson. I hope so. That'd be that'd be really cool to meet them guys. They're uh, they're super people. I uh, I I've enjoyed their streams ever since the first time I uh, I started watching it. Actually, they were the very first live stream I ever watched. I didn't even know you could do it on YouTube. And then I was going through the channels and come across. I was like, oh, live stream and it's cabin life. That's cool stuff, right? So I checked it out and uh, enjoyed it. I'm hooked. Try to watch them every week. Don't don't always get there on time, but I try to watch them every week. Uh, up by my place, the creeks have already started on the decline. Peaked over a week ago. Yeah, you're, uh, you're, um, you're sort of Western Ontario, are you not? Like, no, Eastern Ontario. You're, you're Northeastern Ontario. Are you not there, uh, Wolfie? Count on syrup, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I wouldn't count on it either. They said they didn't get the best harvest of syrup this year, and I know they rely on it up there. So, that may, a tablespoon, maybe you know what? Maybe I can bring them some maple syrup. I can get some from the sugar bush or my local sugar bush around here, and take them up a bottle. Maybe do a trade with them. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Everybody agrees. Maple syrup's got to be the best, one of the sweetest tasting things you could ever have. And uh, the funny thing is, my youngest daughter. Can't stand real maple syrup. She likes the Aunt Jemima stuff, the stuff that's just basically corn syrup, right? That's what she likes. It's like, no, no, you gotta have the real stuff. Well, JP, if you gotta head out, man, no problem. I understand fully 100%. Uh, if you just got off work, go get yourself a shower, uh, wash the stink off for sure. Um, and uh, we'll catch up. I'll catch you on Instagram there. We'll uh, get some PMs going there. And uh, once again, James, thank you very, very much for uh, where my ferro rod going. There it is. Thanks very much for the uh, waterproofer and the ferro rod. I already said I'm going to probably pop a hole. I got to find out from you how far that rod goes in there because I want to pop a hole in. I want to put a, a, a string on it there so I can you know, have a lanyard on it. But uh, very cool. I like it. This is going to get used. Trust me, brother. Uh, and sorry, I can't wait till you come down here to use it. It's going to get used before then. And this here, I got a new pair of hiking boots. And this is going to be going on my hiking boots this weekend. So i got to get that all, uh, all taken care of. But thanks, man. I appreciate it. Very much appreciate it. Good stuff. See, everybody, it's, it's nice to have good friends out there. You know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, James and I have never personally met, uh, just become friends and like, you know, followers. And I probably got, I don't know how old James is either. I imagine he's probably maybe 30s, somewhere around there. But uh, like, you know, I probably got 20 years on the guy and it doesn't really matter. You know, we, we share a common interest. Uh, we both like doing what we're doing, getting out there and bushcrafting, uh, paddling, whatever, hiking, biking. You could be a parasailer. It doesn't matter. If you enjoy the great outdoors, that's all good stuff. Good night, James. Thanks, man. Thanks for popping in. Got me some view time hours. And we're gl I'm glad we got you over 100, bud. Glad we got you over 100. Uh, you made the handle fat on purpose. Yes. Yes. And he's 36. There you go. So, man, I got 19 years on you. You weren't even a twinkle <laughs> in mommy's eye when I was like 20 years old. There you go. Yeah. All good stuff. But yeah, man, that's uh, definitely, I don't know what type of a lanyard I'm going to put on that, if it's going to be a bungee type or, or what, but uh, that's going to be cool. I like that. So anybody out there got a, a favorite piece of outdoor gear? That's always something I wonder, eh? Everybody, everybody says their knife. Everybody says their knife is their favorite piece of gear.
Let's see here. Hey, Rob Knott, how you doing? Thanks for uh, popping into the stream. Much appreciated. We're just uh, we're just friendly chat and banter going on here. If, uh, if you're popping in to find out about that 555 subscriber giveaway uh, later on when this video reposts, pop into about the half hour mark and you'll see me waving a bunch of different trinkets in the air. That's uh, the section. You'll be able to find out how you could uh, become part of the 555 giveaway. Uh, one thing you can do right now to be able to be eligible for that is hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up. And uh, just by being subscribed, you're automatically a part of the giveaway. But there's other opportunities for you to actually get yourself some uh, extra entries. So that'd be in your best interest if that's interesting to you. <laughs> uh, okay, so Tyler, you said, you know, the worst thing to hear because it means it's over is what? Is this is this a is this a a riddle? Or did I just miss something again? Sty North, I soak my jerky overnight in pure maple syrup before it goes into smoker. It just ran out and we'll have to get the smoker going soon. Oh, you know what? I've been wanting to uh, to make some jerky myself. I've got one of those Traeger wood pellet smokers. And I bought it about a year and a half ago. But haven't had the opportunity to actually make any jerky on it. And I'm waiting for a good friend of mine who's a deer hunter. He's got, uh, he usually puts about uh, four or five deer in his freezer every year. Uh, he hunts down in Pennsylvania. He hunts, hunts in New York State. He hunts in Ontario. Uh, in, in the different zones in Ontario so he, he usually does quite well and always he'll always give me some venison ground venison for like you know making chilies and stuff like that uh, yeah a little steak or something like that but I want to get a, a something I could do some nice uh, venison jerky on but that's that's cool I should get that recipe off you is it just maple syrup bang done or are you uh, putting any spices or any other seasonings in that My tomahawk. By the way, axe. Yeah, you will know if you draw too close because <laughs> it sparks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, James. <laughs> I thought you were going for a shower, man. Yeah, he says if I drill drill too close to the, the ferro rod, I'll know if I hit it because there'll be sparks. Yeah. Not if I don't use a high carbon steel drill, right? Uh, hey, Rob. Tyler Woods. Yeah. He went nuts at Rob Nut. Remember to keep the adventure alive. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes I slow. I'm a, I'm a little slow here, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, when I say that, that's officially the end of the video, so... That's my uh, that's my call to action, right? Already done both, and my favorite is the whole damn pack. <laughs> yeah, that you know what? These packs are cool. I uh, I use them when I do just go for like a little day hike or something, or like if I'm just going for a hike, because I don't need to carry all kinds of gear. I just need to carry beer and maybe a, a bottle or two of water. But uh, it is a nice little pack for sure. Uh, but don't put it down. If you're in the bush and you put this down, you're going to lose it because it's camouflaged. Uh. <laughs> I should have brought bought the bright orange ones, right? Yeah. Best catchphrase. So, Tyler, what's, what's your catchphrase going to be at the end of your videos? You have anything? 40 Below Life is in the house. Another one of our... Eskimo loving uh, Santa Claus following people from the North Pole. Yeah, I see your your son there went for that uh, driver's test and he got it. Eh? Congratulations! Another driver in the house. Keep all the people off the roads now. Bet you that that's got to be happy for him and uh, a little terrifying for you. Hey, mom, can I use the car? Yeah. What's going on up there in Alaska? I think we got we got more snow still down here than you guys got up there. Northern Ontario still got snow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. In Alaska, I've seen a 
Rod over at uh, Beat Around the Bushcraft. I think he might be up around your area. Um, he's another YouTuber, but uh, he's got less snow there than I think they got up north, so that's crazy. Exactly, Jefferson. Yep, yep. I could, I could print some bright orange decals, and they could put some bright orange decals on there. And, uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle after that, right? <laughs> yeah, Tyler, your, uh, your logo will look really good on the bottle here, right? So I got to send you your, your hat and your decals so you can put... Canoe Hound Adventures right next to uh, your little Doug Linker and your uh, your Joe Robinette. I've seen that in your last video, man. You were so proud of that, eh? Ooh, look at these. Yeah. <laughs> no, 40 below. There you go. Sty, Sty is familiar with your stuff there. Have you ever, uh, 40 below, have you ever met uh, Stein North? He's got a great channel. Uh, great live stream twice a week. He's always fun to visit. Where's Wolfie going? Okay, guys, have to head out for now. Good to see everyone. Have a great night. Wolfie, thanks for popping out, brother. Hey, I'll be checking out your videos, so all good stuff there. And uh, if you guys haven't checked out Wolfie, go over, check out his channel, show him some love, smash his uh, notification button, and uh, hit that red button for him. That'd be great. Absolutely great. Oh, shucks, Taylor. Yeah, Stai Sty, Sty is a, a very good storyteller. He, he's the kind of guy you'd want to have around your bonfire there. He, uh, he's, got, uh, he's been around the block a few times. Just recently retired. Hopefully you're doing well with your retirement, Sty. Uh, I know you uh, You're talking the other night there about your uh, your kayak. You know what? If we live closer, I got two kayaks here sitting in the backyard that never ever ever get used. I want to sell them and I would you'd be a perfect person to let let use it. Go go fish. Go fish with it, right? Uh, I got a buddy of mine He's used my kayaks more than I have in the last year than I've used them in the last five years or 10 years, maybe even. Well, I haven't even had them 10 years, but he, he uses them more than me. He'll call me up. Hey Dennis, uh, can I use your, one of your kayaks to go fishing? It's like, yeah, man, come use it. Put it in the water. It's, uh, it needs, it needs to get wet. So, Hey, we got Grim Raven in the house. Thanks for popping out Grim. We were just talking earlier there. Uh, the family outdoors. Uh, he was on, uh, what's that? Sean, right? He was, uh, he was on earlier, and uh, we were talking a little bit about uh, community outdoors. Alive and well. Good to hear it. Good to hear it. Yeah, we were talking about a community outdoors, and I thank you guys for uh, for letting me in with the cool kids. It's, uh, hopefully uh, we can get together on a PM or something, or FaceTime, or I don't know, some, one of these new technologies where we can actually talk about... Uh, What's going on and what I would like to do and I'll run it by you now is actually uh, I want to I want to start getting my live stream set up where we could do collaborations where I could actually talk to people and do do a little bit of interviewing and stuff like that so that people could share their experiences or expertise and knowledge and know-how and all that stuff and I thought I would uh, maybe start some of that off with some of the guys here from uh, from uh, Community Outdoors uh, because obviously we all have one one goal. There's seven of us that are uh, have one goal in common, and that's just to, to show people what we know and uh, get them to learn from what we what we do and our experiences. Right, so that's cool. Hey, you've heard of that? Cool. I seen uh, I seen today, and I commented on the on the trailer video. Is that uh, is that is that the one everybody's agreed upon? Because I thought it was pretty good myself. I left a comment there on uh, Twitter. Well, there we go. So, Sty, you're getting your your kayak. Is that the one you're talking about getting from Walmart? Did you finally find one? Good 
Grim says, oh my god, I brought up live streams last season. Buddy, personally, I over the idea. You love the idea? Yeah, man, you know what? I, uh, I'm working on it. I just I want to figure out what the best way, I don't know if I use uh, Google Hangouts and have a stupid logo in the top corner all the time. Or if I go with, uh, what's, uh, oh, I can never remember the name of it. It's another one of those telephone-y type of apps, but uh I'll, I'll remember later brain fart brain fart but yeah i want i want to be able to do that there and you know do the uh the old split screen one up here one up here you know a la pusa studios type of deal and uh yeah have some fun with it i think it would just add a, another element a little bit of excitement you could actually talk talk about a topic like a community outdoors check us out on facebook a community outdoors Northern Bass Fishing. Kayak fishing is huge now. Can't believe how many people are doing it on YouTube. Yeah, you know what? They, you see these uh, these new uh, fishing kayaks? These things are outrated. They, they got more, more rigs on them than I got on my fishing boat. <laughs> you know, they got uh, rod holders and they got uh, freaking things for your fish finders. And yeah, you paddle the things. It's, yeah, they're, they're pretty cool rigs. Some, some guys can really outfit them. Eh? They got coolers on them, the whole nine yards getting to be big you know why because you can get into so many spots with those things that uh you couldn't normally if you only had a regular boat right i'd hold my boat i can't take it anywhere shallow motor is too big rain dance bushcraft how you doing thanks for popping out to the live stream tonight never seen you out before but i uh, appreciate you coming in and you're another channel i will definitely have to get subscribed to and check out i like my bushcraft like my bushcraft feel free to uh hit that uh, thumbs up button guys and uh smash that subscribe button if you haven't already get to see some of the cool stuff that we have planned this year and for the 555 giveaway Northern Bass Fishing Outdoors says he only has a canoe. Well, you know what? At least you're out on the water, right? The, the nice thing about a canoe is if you have a favorite spot to go fishing, you don't have to go far. If you've got a place that you can catch the fish that, uh, that are out there, you, you don't have to go miles and miles and miles, right? I always get a kick out of the people up north. Get the people over here on this side of the lake and the people over here on this side of the lake. These people go over here to fish, and these people go over here to fish. You know what I mean? So it's like, they, they don't even fish off their own docks or whatever. They have to go clear across the lake to go fishing when all the fish could be right in front of them, right? So, yeah. It's like, what the heck? What the heck? I'm going to pop out this chat so I can actually read it. Uh, hey, man, how's it going? Thanks for the check Dennis. Yeah, Raven, the only thing that does some live streams. We'll have to set something up. Yeah, man, you know what? I, like I say, Grim, I'm working on that. Uh, we can get that going, and we can uh, we can certainly utilize my live streams. I don't mind that on, on uh, Wednesdays. After all, there are seven of us in the group, including myself. Uh, I'll do a rundown of the names if you guys want to check out some of the channels for the guys and gals that are in this uh, community outdoors. We got Beat Around the Bushcraft, Rod, he's over in Alaska, Happy Mountain Trekkers, a couple guys that look like they're uh, from uh, ZZ Top, got the big beards going on. We got Harris Outdoors, we got Grim Raven, who's uh, in the house right now. Uh, Grim, you're you're a gamer too, are you not? I, I kind of figured that from your just from your your little logo there. Uh, we've also got a family outdoors. He was in earlier. He had to uh, he had to cut out. That's Sean. 618 Bushcraft is another. And then yours truly, Canoe Hound Adventures this year. Uh, it's going to be my maiden voyage. So not sure exactly what the topics are going to be this year. But uh, hopefully I could add a good little bit of uh, information to some of this stuff. So that's cool stuff. I like it and I'm looking forward to it. Oh, Grim. Uh, there we go. Sorry, McCart uh, Mason. 
Grim Mason from uh, McCartney Survival says he may be interested in uh, joining up on the next session that we're doing. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, McCartney Survival, Grim, check him out. Uh, he's just got a challenge up there. Two challenges, actually. Uh, one is a, uh, a one-stick uh, challenge, uh, one-stick fire challenge, and then he just uh, posted one today, which is the one-handed fire challenge. So check those out. Uh, he uh, He's definitely interested in, you know, participating in this. He's got some good quality videos, and he knows his stuff. He's almost like another Rambo. Power of the beard, buddy. Yep, power of the beard. Yeah, those Happy Mountain guys, they uh, they got some good beards going there. Just need the big fuzzy guitar. <laughs> yeah, gaming, anime, bushcraft. It's a bit odd. Yeah, it's a little bit of a crazy mixture there, but hey, what the hell. Different strokes, Grim, for different folks. I told Rain Dance Bushcraft about you. Dennis said you have an awesome channel as well. Thanks, Ty. Appreciate it, brother. Hey, like I say... I've done some pushing for you, and uh, I appreciate you the, appreciate the pushback. That's that's some good stuff. Like I say, that's what it's all about. You know, we're we're small channels, we're small guys, just trying to hit that uh, hit our hit our goals. You know, whether it's 100, 250, 500, a thousand, whatever, or 555. Um, you know what? If we all work together, we'll get there. You know what? Guys like Joe Robinette, and you know some of these uh, TC or uh, What's the guy over in England there? Uh, all these guys that got like, you know, 100,000, 80,000, a million subscribers. They didn't start their channels yesterday, man. They've been going at this. Joe Robinette's been on doing this for 11 years, right? And he hit his million mark around Christmas, or what, a month and a half ago, two months ago. It takes time, you know what? And let's let's face it, I don't think any of us are doing this really to get rich, are we? I know I'm not. Uh... I do it. I enjoy doing it. So it's, it's a hobby. Um, I'll be truthful with you. I actually started my YouTube channel huh, 2013, I believe, and I had a number of videos up there. And then life got a little crazy and a little fast and stuff like that. And I was uh, getting in between careers, uh, leaving one job and starting my own business and stuff like that. And at that time, Canoe Hound, or Canoe Hound, it wasn't even called Canoe Hound Adventures back then. It was just my name, Dennis, right? And I actually got rid of the channel, pretty much. And I, I don't know why, to, to my dismay, it, it's pretty stupid, but I didn't get rid of the channel, but I just started deleting all my content. And I have two videos I can find right now, and all the rest are probably on a dead computer I got sitting upstairs. But... I had found two videos on my Mac, which are two of the last videos I posted. And they are the ones that have like a totally different thumbnail screen. And one is uh, like a uh, uh, Halliday Lake canoe trip. And the other one is uh, a do it yourself on putting uh, skid plates on your canoe, right? And if you take a look at the numbers on them, some of them, well, the, the skid plate ones, like 22,000 views. So if I had kept up with it back then, who knows, maybe I'd be a Joe Robinette today. Never know. Uh, okay, McCartney wants to know what kind of anime that Grim Raven likes. You know, look look at his thumbnail or his little circle thing there. Yeah, selected him. We'll take a look. Cool, cool. Check him out, Grim, for sure. Tyler says no problem. We're family now. You know it, brother. You know it. We're family. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if a lot of you uh, probably weren't on my stream last week. I got. Uh, Tyler Wood is somebody I've been following since he started his YouTube channel, met on Instagram, and he had a, his 1,000 subscriber giveaway. He's recently been monetized, so his channel has shown exponential growth in the last month and a half. Very proud of him, very happy for him, and he, uh, he actually had his 1,000 subscriber giveaway, and I was fortunate enough to win, and believe me, people, it wasn't Jerry rigged. I don't know, but... Uh, I, I was really happy to win it, and actually, I got the box right over here. But he had he included in there. There were four MREs. Uh, there was a, uh, a hammock, two knives, uh, a little uh, cutlery set, uh, some decals. Uh, what am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? A first aid kit, which Tyler, 
right after I got off the live stream last week, I went down and I threw it right in my backpack. So like I said, that I was honest when I said that. This is actually one of the knives that, uh, that I want on there. And it's actually turning into one of my everyday carries. Uh, I can't believe you gave this knife up. <laughs> this, is a, this is a sweet knife, man. But yeah, it's just a little, little flip knife. Nice little box cutter end on it. Where's my... There it is. Little box cutter uh, screen or uh, end on it. It's got... What I like is it's got this neat little locking feature right here. You flip that forward and you can't unlock the back to close it up. That's a, a locking feature. But nice little knife. And it's got the nice little carry clip on it. So, I like it. I like it a lot. For sure. And so I was so, so appreciative there that I, I told him, I said, you know what, man, I'm going to send him a hat and I'm going to send him a couple of uh, my canoe hound decals. And did you say what color hat you wanted, Tyler? You want tan or do you want black? Let me know, man, because I want to get, I want to get that package out to you. Uh, what do we got here? That's a nice prize package. Yeah. Rain dance. You know what? I, I think the value of that's probably, you're probably going to be maybe $80 value, $90. And there's a couple of items that I haven't put in there yet. Like I couldn't show them off. I'm waiting on a ferro rod to come in uh, that I've uh, purchased for this. So this is more than just like freebie things. I'm actually uh, putting some cash out of my pocket to, uh, to include things in here. And there's a, uh, a, a spork set that I got from a company who sponsored it to me a company called High Tensile. You can check them out online. I've got uh, in one of my videos I talk about them. And it's a knife and a spork that has antimicrobial, it's hard to say, antimicrobial benefits to the plastic, which um, kills bacteria and germs that might be left on it from lack of cleaning proper when you're out on a canoe trip, camping trip, hiking trip, camping, lunch pail, whatever, right? So yeah, it's just something that's that's good. And they're really starting to hype and they're starting to catch ground. And they're a company out of the UK. So the fact that they actually sent me two units, one for testing for myself, and I asked them, I said, would you be so kind as to include one more and I'll give it away in a giveaway? And they did. So that's going to be in the package too. And I got it downstairs. I don't, don't know why I didn't bring it up, but I'll show it in the next video, which is going to be the official drive for 555. So yeah. Yeah. Okay, Chasing Guns, how about this one? Uh, marinara sauce and meatballs. This is one of the ones I got from Tyler. I think this will probably be one of my favorites. That's uh, If I get out in a canoe this weekend, I'm probably going to try that one out. So I'll leave that one out of the box. The box is sitting over here. <laughs> Good deal, man. Safety first. Yeah, for sure. Confusing how are you right now? Fair tail over lower. Or pick up dungeon. Yeah, there's a there's a, a business that just started down here in our area, Grim. Um, it's a what is the name of the place? Oh man. Another brain fart. They they've uh they're a company that, that deals with gaming, and they're just building a place where they have uh, they have theme rooms where you can go there and game in a theme room, and sleep in a game room. You know, it's like all this warfare stuff and all these different things. Uh, Mini War Gaming, look it up, um, Grim Raven, look it up. It's called Mini War Gaming, and they're uh, they're out of Welland, Ontario. And like I say, they're building this cool. And I know they they do a lot of stuff with escape rooms, and they have Dungeons and Dragons and. All, all that stuff that I'm sure you're probably into. I'm not a gamer myself. I don't I don't understand if it's not Super Mario uh, Brothers. It's way over my head. Or uh, Clash of Clans. But uh, yeah, check it out. Mini War Gaming. It's uh, going to be a pretty cool place. They're getting set to open up soon. But yeah, it's a really neat place. I guess a lot of people are really into that. Good deal, man. Safety first. Black. Told you a few times, oh well. Okay, black it is. There we go. Gonna write it right down here. Black. They're officially reserved, man. It's coming your way. I'll get that shipped out uh, probably Monday or Tuesday. Yep, I watched your review and the test you did, buddy. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know what? That's a cool knife and fork set for sure. The one, the one thing I found about it though, um, as much as I, I think it's really cool that they had the mic, micro, yeah. <laughs> excuse me, micro antibacterial, microbial, yeah, whatever it is. The spoon, the spork part I found was, and if you watch the video, and I, I never say anything to anybody about this except my wife, I said, I love the fork or the spork and I love the knife. It's cool. It's a really cool concept. But the, the spork is so deep, right? And the video I was using it in, I was eating, uh, I was eating some chunky stew is what I brought out there. Heated that up, cooked it all and everything. We used the, the spork to stir it all up and everything. But the spoon was so deep that when I was eating with it, you, you got to get your, your lip deep into the, the spoon. So if you look at the video really carefully, after, I, after I've eaten, you'll see I got, <laughs> I got a mustache of beef stew all around my mouth. And if you watch it really quick, you don't pay attention, you won't notice it. But when I was editing, I go... I'll be darned. Look at this, man. I got this freaking thing. It's like, that's that's the one thing I don't like about the set. And I think it's just sort of maybe a design flaw that uh, maybe they overlooked or something. Because most forks I've ever used have been like wider and shallower. But this one here is like so cup-shaped that you, you to get the all the juice of the, the stew or chili or soup or whatever you're eating. It, you, you, yeah, you really got to get in there and it's going to leave you with a mustache. So check out that video and you'll see. Have a laugh on me. <laughs> yeah, Grim says he uh, he tosses in gaming references on his videos and have, has yet to have anybody comment on it. You know what? I wouldn't comment on it because I don't know gaming references, right? But that's just me. I'm sure a lot of people would. But uh, like you say, it's a it's an odd mix. You know, uh, your your gaming anime and bushcrafting right so that's uh that's quite the quite the gamut there for sure right the last trip i had slot and slim trout and slim jim crazy combo hey you know what when you're in the bush there are no crazy combos when it comes to food right uh you eat what you want to eat when you want to eat it because you're out there and uh you know yeah, you don't have your mommy there telling you that you can't eat that, right? You eat, eat what you want. But trout in the Slim Jim. Now, I wonder if you chopped up that Slim Jim and you popped it inside the trout and then baked it over a fire. Maybe you get some of that spiciness of the Slim Jim, right? That's awesome setup for sure that you had working for you, Dennis. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh trout from those streams are the best. That's the one thing I'm going to miss when I go pick up the canoe. I really, it, trout season is now officially open uh, up in Algonquin Park. And uh, first ice out uh, brook trout on some of the lakes that one of my buddies knows about. I've been dying to get up there with him. He wanted to show me a few of the lakes and get up there and get us some nice, uh, nice speckled or brookies, whichever you want to call them. Um, but yeah, that's not going to happen now. Damn mother nature. Fresh trout with those streams, even reference my bushcraft shelter is my hyperbolic time chamber from DBZ. Yeah. I, I still think that, you know what, that's one of the most unique shelters I, I've ever seen. I've never seen one like that. That was uh, that was quite the uh, the shelter that you built there. If you guys uh, wonder what, what he's talking about there, check out Grim Raven there with his uh, his community outdoors video that he did. On the last uh, season here, it's a uh, what 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 did you, what did you call? I know there's a name for it, but uh, it's it's like a, a sort of you bend a tree over and then you weave sticks into it and then you cover it all over with leaves and stuff like that. Really cool. I never seen one like that before, but that's that's cool. I gotta give that a try one day. Thanks, Jessica. Yeah, for the sneeze. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, Cooper's Creek, McCarty, close to the Blue Ridge. It's great fishing. Grim, that's amazing for sure. Grim says, ever since you've been showing your breakfast, I've been trying to get my hash browns to brown, but I can't get them to look like yours, Dennis. You know what? From the time I put them in the pan, first off, I don't know if you guys know about these hung Hungry Jack hash browns. They come, they're dehydrated, they're like a little milk carton. You pour enough water in, rehydrates the hash browns, pour it in your, your cast iron pan, start cooking, right? But the trick is to get them brown, 
right? You watch me, I put the spice on and they instantly turn brown. It's uh, it's my spices really turn them brown. And then uh, I try not to flip them too early. I just sort of let them char on the bottom a bit there and that, that really helps. But uh, I, I like my hash browns. I like my hash browns for sure. And then the eggs and of course the steak go great with it too. So, Grim, come on up here to Niagara one day and I'll take you out to my day camp and I'll cook you breakfast out there. Yeah, McCartney's fish that area, it's amazing for sure. Yeah, yeah, up around Cooper's Creek. Yeah. Great insight been known to gain. I don't know. Does Clash of Clans or Clash Royal on your cell phone, does that count as a gamer? Because if that's the case, I'm a gamer. Yeah. I used to play Clash of Clans quite quite often and uh I uh Got quite high level, but since I've been doing my YouTube stuff here, I sort of let the game go by the wayside. So go on there once in a while, collect my loot, and that's about it. Tyler, Oreos dipped in nacho cheese. Wow. Hey, man. It's like peanut butter and sardines, right? Whatever makes your boat float, man. <laughs> it's a bender. That's the name of that shelter. Okay. Yeah, the bender. Oh, how can I forget that? Maybe when I'm on one, I'm going on one right now. Yeah, like I said, I've never seen one of them shelters. That's pretty cool. You use oil or butter? I use uh, uh, olive oil. A bit of olive oil, but if I fry bacon, um, like if I fry bacon, I don't dump the grease. I just, I make them hash browns right into bacon, man. And we're talking about ar artery hardening uh, calories there. But yeah, use the fat from the bacon and it all sucks into the potatoes and just adds a nice flavor to it. So, but if I don't have bacon cooking or any like fatty meat that I'm going to cook beforehand, I'll, uh, I'll just add olive oil to the bottom. But the cast iron pan, the cast iron pan is really the trick. Um, use that cast iron pan. And you just get a good cook, and it's a well. The pan I have, although it weighs like five pounds, uh, I don't have far to hike in to go to my day camp, right? So I don't mind bringing it once in a while. But when I do go out there and use it, it uh, it's well seasoned, so I, I I could actually cook hash browns in there and not have it stick even to the pan. So yeah, it's good stuff. I got fourteen of those little cartons in my pantry right now. Yeah, there you go. You know what? I have a hard time getting those things stuck. I live in Canada, right? And uh, you guys in the United States are so fortunate. You got all the unhealthy food in the world, right? That's cool. That's good. But no, it, it's hard. It's hard. We have, I don't know if it's the Canadian government or just our population base or what it is, but we don't have nowhere near the same selection that you guys have for, for cool foods, really. Uh, if I want, if I want my Hungry Jacks, I have to go to, because I, I live near Niagara Falls, uh, Ontario, I have to, and Niagara Falls is a border town, I have to go over to the U.S. side, at, which we do once in a while, we'll go over for pizza and wings, because they got some good pizza and wing places, or we'll go over just shopping, because I could buy my beef briskets for my smoker over there at a quarter of the cost that I would pay here. Chicken is super cheap, so like, there, there's a lot of things that we can get a lot cheaper. But we, uh, yeah, basically we, uh, I buy, I buy my Hungry Jacks there. So when I go there and I see them on the Walmart shelf or uh, at a Tops uh, Superstore there, I'll, I'll take like seven or eight of them and I'll pile them in there. And that lasts me until the next time we go. So I haven't got 14, but I probably got five or six down there right now. <clears throat> Holy shit, yeah, Tyler, you know what, I just, I didn't realize that, man, you guys got me uh, chattering here like crazy, two hours and 34 minutes, that's the longest I've been on, I don't, had no intention of being on this long, and I'm hearing some, uh, some noise upstairs, which would probably mean that my wife and my daughter are back from the hospital now, so I should probably go check and see how, uh, how things are faring, faring out, faring out up there. Uh, you have them at the Dollar Tree. I buy them by the case. I never thought of that, going to a Dollar Tree. They got Dollar Trees there, too. I think I pay like a buck. 
a buck forty nine or something for one of them at uh, at a Walmart. But yeah, no, they're they're good, man. They're they're really good, definitely for sure. Things in the U.S. we don't have foil pack tuna and individual Gatorade pack. No, that yeah, that's true too. Yeah, foil pack tuna is the best invention ever. Foil pack tuna is awesome to take on a canoe trip because it takes up so little room in there. What I do with my foil pack tuna uh, when I when I do get it, uh, I'll bring it up and make like a macaroni salad, right? If you go to like fast food restaurants, you get the little packets of mayonnaise and, you know, they're perfect, perfect for, for doing, uh, you know, like a macaroni salad. So you break up your, your tuna into your macaroni after you boil macaroni or any kind of pasta for that matter. And then you, uh, yeah, then you uh, put in some mayo, squish it all together and that goes great with a steak or if you do sausage or if you're cooking fish that you've caught. So that's, that's cool too. <laughs> yeah well you know what yeah you know where i, I got turned on the hungry jacks is by uh uh the firebox you ever heard of the firebox stove they they do he cooks a lot of the, the hungry jacks and that that's where i he always he always showed videos where he was cooking stuff like that <clears throat> so i sent him an email one day asking what, what what are these hash browns where do you get these from he told me they're hungry jacks and i've been turned on to them ever since uh, Tyler, I know you don't want to hear them words, but man, I'm getting hoarse. <clears throat> I keep clearing my throat here. Jessica says you got tuna pouches. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do have foil pack tuna here in the States. Yeah, you can order a case online for a buck a carton from Dollar Tree and they ship to your local store free. That's cool. The only problem is, though, Stai, is I'm, uh, like I say, I'm in Canada. So, uh. Uh, you know what? Even if I had to pay a buck fifty for it or something, actually, a buck fifty American to me is about two dollars Canadian, right? So we got that stupid exchange rate where you guys have higher value money than we have. Canada does doesn't have the foil tuna. At least I never found it. No, I've never found it found it here either. Um, actually, no. Wait a minute. That's a lie. I I, I did see it uh, a few years back, but it was back when. There used to be a company, this is years ago, like I, for my canoe tripping, I used to buy these, uh, they were boil in a bag meals, and basically they had like Salisbury steak, you can get uh, lasagna, and they were like just boil in a bag, or like, a, like a, a vacuum sealed bag, and you boil it in there, and you cut it out, and had the gravy in it, and the whole nine yards, and they were some of the best meals that, to take canoeing, because like, you know, your meat is preserved pretty much, but when you got out there... The only problem was they were, they were a little heavy, but they were super tasty, but they do not make them anymore. They don't make them anymore. Why, I don't know. Maybe they just weren't a good seller, but yeah. Ouch. Yeah, exactly. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. See, uh, that, that's the one other thing about the States is your, your dollars worth something, right? I know a lot of our friends like going over to the U.S. side to, to do some shopping and stuff, and sometimes you're not... You're not off better ahead. Like they, they say, oh, it's so much cheaper over there. Well, it's not when you factor in 35 cents on a dollar. And then you got to drive all the way there and you got to pay $4.75 to cross either the Peace Bridge, the Lewis, Queenston Lewiston Bridge, or the Rainbow Bridge into the U.S. It's a, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pain in the ass. And then you go over and you get interrogated going and coming back. It's like, yeah, it's not even worth it. $1. fifty for your last Hungry Jack, yeah. I'm hungry, well, thanks for going over Jim's live stream. Who's, uh, who's live stream? Who's, uh, yeah, let's go raid somebody, guys. Uh, it's, uh, um, <laughs> two hours and 40 minutes, like I say, by far my longest stream. Don't forget, okay, guys, don't forget, and gals, whoever's in here still, don't forget, when this video posts up, please do go back, leave a comment. I want you guys, uh, to make sure you have another opportunity at winning the uh, the drive for five 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 uh, giveaway, and remember, leave the comment and use the word enjoyed in there in whatever context you want. 
Uh, just don't throw the word enjoy, but leave a sentence or whatever, but just throw the word enjoyed in there, as well as when I post a new video in a few days there showing the, the Drive for 555 uh, official giveaway video. This is your chance to get extra credits. If you could share either of the two videos, and or any, any of my videos for that matter, if you share any of my videos and hashtag canoe hound, so s send it to any of your social media, be it Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, hashtag canoe hound, and that'll also get you an extra entry. I much appreciate it, guys. Uh, Jim's on right now in Knight's Armory. That's what you're saying. I remember to keep the <laughs> I ain't saying it just yet. Uh, price of gas here is way too expensive. We're probably at around four ninety a gallon U.S. Comp comparable. We're at uh, buck thirty, buck thirty two a liter, which is probably around like four seventy four eighty American. So yeah, it's crazy. But anyways, if my buddy Jim at Knight's Armory is on, let's pop over to Knight's Armory. Tyler's got it there. Any of my moderators, can you put that up there, the link to Knight's Armory? And then we can go over there and do a canoe hound raid. Let's go show uh, Jim over there. And I'm going to go over there and bust his chops because he didn't jump on my uh, live stream and I'm always on his. So, yeah, we'll go over there and bust his chops a little bit. So, guys, gals, thank you very much for supporting the channel tonight and coming out and uh, sharing this time with me. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go show some love to my daughter upstairs. Hopefully everything's all good with her and the wife. And we will catch up with you all later. See you on the other live streams. And remember, people, this is Dennis signing out for Canoe Hound Adventures. And go ahead, Tyler, you say it. Remember, keep the adventures alive. Do 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 do